Should we start? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, hi, everybody. Deja vu all over again. Um, we have a, the sign-in sheet going around, so please make sure you sign it. Uh, it's been a very discombobulating CPA cycle with the delay and then the computer thing and then the, the everything's off. I don't know. Anyway, um, but we're almost through. Mm -hmm. Before we look at the proposals, let's have a brief discussion about our CPA tradition of 80%, 20%, mm -hmm. uh, which several applicants have asked us to be aware of. Um, so I just wondered if we, people want to talk about what they think. I think we should keep it or get rid of it or change it. Or I think it's a good idea. I think it's a good idea that other people have skin in the game and not just come to us with your hands out, asking for money, and regardless of whether or not they're gonna do something constructive or not. That's my opinion. I think that if someone contributes to the project, the simple fact that the project's gonna be finished will help us. Even though it's all taxpayer money, I get that, I understand that, but it's not, just free money, just to do stuff. That's the way I, that's the way I look at it, and that's just my opinion. And my understanding is we like the 80-20, but we could waive it depending on, I think, if we vote that way. It's just, so, just a tradition we never even have right. to determine. Right. Right. But it would be so that there was a vested interest on the part of the people asking for funding. That's what I remember it being, so yeah. that, like, as Edwin said, so that people aren't just coming saying, I want money, I want money, I want money, and we're saying, well, okay, we want you to make an effort like either uh, fundraising, um, in-kind services, things like that, to show that we're not funding basically 100% that there uh, is community um, involvement. involvement or want for the project. Mm -hmm. So that's two for keeping it. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm not really for keeping it. I'm for like saying not necessarily twenty percent. I'm more saying do you have any? What else are you putting into it? But not having it as a rule. Not have you know you know it's nice and it's good and we ask. But not to have a set a, a, a set rule. Um, we need to have twenty percent because every every project's a little bit different. We've seen, the, for example, the steeple. They we wanted it wasn't a lot of money, but they couldn't come up with much. You know, so I mean, each project's different, and it depends what the project is. And you know, it's not it's something we can talk about, but to have it as a set rule, I I would be more uh, for leaving it open. Certainly, there should be some skin in the game, I concur, and difficult is, you know, the projects within the last year, the only people that I see that are really big into raising money are the uh, ball fields at Hopkins Academy. And, you know, the banks have contributed money, the Board of Trustees have contributed money, but that's the only one I think that's contributed within the last year. That's a lot. Any other opinions? Any new people? Oh, sorry. No, but and, and certainly what we see happening now is that because maybe something is not funded through the regular budgetary process, oh, go to the CPA and get it there. That's, mm. we seem to be like, uh, oh, they got a lot of money, go get it there, so. Well, it's half true. Well, it's a project. We do have a lot of money. You go to, you go, we do capital, right? And if you're in capital and we're looking at a project, we're going to, and we want, the town wants to do it, and we want to do it, can we use our CPA money or can we apply for that or do we have to do, fund it all out of something else or are we going to borrow for it? I mean, it's all, the, it's all the same taxpayer money 
and that's how I see it sometimes is we're using the same mm -hmm. that's that's that that too because I'm doing the budget and mm -hmm. I gotta take it from somewhere <laughs> and so if we contribute and you want to say if it's like a big project and you want to say contribute okay where are we going to contribute well we'll just take it out of you know maybe capital or something or take it out of general fund but still it's really the same money that's coming into it it's still taxpayer money mm -hmm. so that's why I'm kind of not for it. well it's certainly it's taxpayer money but we have those three pigeonholes that it has to correspond to that's true yeah yeah I mean the CPA from the last door that down the road I mean it'll be able to cover more projects if it doesn't cover 100% of everything um, mm -hmm. although so far we've been able to cover every project It is, it is really important to have a group or someone really behind each project um, so it follows through on it. I don't know if the money helps or not so much with that if they have to put in their 20%. Um, well, certainly for a private organization, we would want them to kick in. I would think so, absolutely. For sure. But for the town, I'm not, I'm not so sure. Mm -hmm. And for my own personal project, definitely. <laughs> I think CBH should pay for all of it. I should not take it for it, even though it was my idea. Uh, but anyway, generally, I'm hearing that people want to keep it. Mm -hmm. So that means we'll be adjusting the amounts mm -hmm. uh, requested by to, to fund 80%. Yep. And we've, we've allowed in-kind services and donations to count as part of that 20%. They just have to document it. Um, so I think that's kind of consensus. Is that yeah. Yeah. Did you want to Did say anything? Want to, um, I mean, I'm new. You're new. I just wanted to yeah. Yeah. not leave yeah. me out. <laughs> I mean, I, I haven't seen enough of them, like Benjamin's been involved with enough, but I do, I've been at the end where we've had support for things like from a park and rec perspective with friends and things that have gone now since gone by the wayside that we're hoping to revitalize um, with some changes so things will be better supported financially you know from that end but um, I've also been <laughs> myself a huge fundraiser for efforts so I know what goes into it and it's we're lacking in volunteers all over to be able to help with these types of things so um, I don't know um, if case-by-case -case basics basis is something that would really be okay with a gray area being there meaning does it need to be black and white like we we do all 80 20 or we do you know i haven't seen enough but if you've been granting them all that way with well nobody with has 100 really, funding then yeah I mean, nobody we've never i don't think we've ever done 100 percent not in a long time i think we have we're really small but not in a long time yeah. right no, small projects yeah but then what's a small project but, right, well, like the water right? testing, but they had the income services of the person doing the testing. So mm -hmm. they, they did have some type of a match. But something or little, like the maps. Mm -hmm. You know? The maps that would think we would do 100%. Well, and, that, and we have not said it as a, you know, if you don't do it, you don't get it. Yeah. We, haven't, we haven't said that. We have recommended people, we've told people, Go back, see what you can do. Sure. So that no, everybody goes. Oh well, I can just tell them I don't have anything. You know. Oh, nobody wants to give any money, so fund me a hundred percent. So it's we. You know, the funds are there. They're there to be used. There are requirements for how they're used. But you know, a, most a lot of towns make um, require people to have matching funds or in kind services or things like that so so when we're talking are we talking are we making policy now that you yes. need to have 80 20 or are we going to just leave it like you would like money down you'd like to see something we can do whatever we want if somebody wants mm -hmm. to make a motion that that's how we're going to do things all that means of course is that we have to have another vote saying we don't want to do it anymore what we want if we want to stop uh, or we can just discuss it you know each uh, proposal at a time. I don't know what people want. 
Well, if you don't, if you blanket it, then with all of these different proposals, are you going to mix, you know, 75% of them off of it because they don't have funding, or, you know, I don't... Uh, well, no, we can, we can adjust the funding. We can adjust the proposals any way we want. Okay. Uh, the funding, anything. Um, the only thing we can't do is approve the money. Only town meeting can do that. Right. But the town meeting approves the money that we propose. So if somebody asks for 100000 and we only want to give 80000 then that's all, all they get. Okay. Right. And it's not based on the 80-20. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's based on what, what we decide. We decide. <clears throat> All right, well, let's just keep that like loosey goosey. Mm -hmm. That's the happy Sometimes way. that's the yeah, yeah. best way to do it. All right. Um, let's talk about the treasurer's report. I'm a little uneasy doing this whole thing, not knowing exactly how much money are in each of the set asides. But there's no, no way to find out. They also don't want to put off the proposal just because there's no town treasurer. So, what do people think? Well, if I figured it right, we're we're only using we're using if everything was approved 100 percent, we'd be using 56 thousand more than the money we got last year. So as long as you feel like there's at least 56 thousand in the general 70 percent fund, yeah. we should be okay. Right, yeah. makes sense. But we need to, without knowing what's in each account, typically what we do is. Like historical, we drain the historical account and then right. go to the general fund. Right. That not just sense. take it out of. That's what we're supposed to do. Right. And not knowing how much we're taking. I mean, um, we usually say when it goes to town meeting, we're taking this much out of this fund, this much out of this fund. Because there so. is additional in recreation and historic over what? Yeah. Right. 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 Left over from last year. So we're. Right. We're like walking on ice, but I'm pretty sure we'll make it. Yeah, and you know, for the life of me, the fact that we don't know how much money there is in the, in the account is just poor accounting right. well, on the, somebody's part. There is no one to call. To well, ask. they're running the town. Right. The town somebody, is being somebody's run. Keeping somebody track knows. Of the money. Somebody, you know, I just got three bills from the town that say I owe money. So who's who's doing it's all not, those? The treasurer is doing the collecting and stuff, but doesn't do the accounting. So if we don't have an accountant for six months, well, all the money that we've paid is going where? It's not being dedicated into... I, I, mean, I can't. That's I can't. right. But that's it's, it's, kind yeah. of the idea is someone should know where sure. the money's going or who's paying what. Or a rough idea. Right. Yeah. I mean, there should be something there. And if someone can, if we knew we took our last report where we had set funding and subtracted out where things went. Do we want to do that? I mean, that's, that's one way to get a better idea. We took our last report and then any projects that were funded under, uh, if it was historical. But I think if it gets even worse, then I'll defer to the banker. <laughs> we, wouldn't, we wouldn't give somebody $100,000 and not keep track of what's yeah. being done. Yep. And we were told we don't have to do that. Uh, we were told is it, uh, that we are an um, but that advisory committee. That doesn't ex excuse the mm -hmm. fact there's no accountability. That's right. Are I you agree talking about the accounting part of it? Well, the fact that something's done, there should be some oversight. Well, we ran out of money. Do you wanna, why? This was uh, I mean, you focused yeah. on Well, I think they're in the, going to the, all the GLs, but the problem is, is you know, this it needs is to get balanced. The yeah. And um, the we're just waiting for the accountant. CPA so. cycle. The, okay. To double check. So I mean, Linda has that. ideas, and we, we know sure. she knows what's like kind of ideas, but the thing is, it's... She's not going to, you know, set the stone until it's double checked. Right. You know, oh, audited. Oh, you can. Oh, all right. I'm so sorry. if it comes out of the general this time, this round, it means there's extra in recreation and extra in historic for next we're time. Supposed to, we're supposed to, by the statute, empty the accounts first, right. then go to the general fund, not the other way around. But, right. but I would argue that these are, since there's no treasurer, I think we can 
you would play it safe. Uh, not treasure account, yeah. since it's yeah. a town account. That we can we can go ahead with the proposals knowing we do have the money, even if we're not following the law in this case because there's no accountant. Well, no, we still, have to, we still have to be accountable. Well, we yeah. have to be accountable yes, but, but if, if, as to where money's going. Yes, but if we, if we take it right. from the general fund instead of the park and rec set aside, because we want to be careful. the law when it says that you have to drain those funds well, first? Well, yes. can, can we word it in such a way as to say this amount will come out of the recreational set aside, and when that's used, if that's used up, then the additional comes out of the general? Well, fund. we do. do, we, we, have do. To well, we do say we do say that. But, uh, but we give the amounts. But do we have to? Can we just pull so, the full amount and say it comes out of? Well, we 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 all kind of know, but now we just the people here you propose something. We say yay or nay. Now the townspeople are going to want to know which accounts it's coming out of. Do you think? Do you think? No, you know, because there's no accountant, that it couldn't be just left so that it drains the recreation. If we have to say something, exactly. then we say that, and, and we have to put a dollar amount in there, just what we can do is just leave it open for right now, and then Linda can get the best guess. We can get, you know, before mm -hmm. town meeting and yeah. get it set, and then we did our due diligence, we did the best we could. Um, I think by town meeting, by town meeting we can get the numbers. Out. They'll have a new person, and the new person yeah. can get it for so us. I mean, we, we don't have to put the dollar amounts in tonight. Mm -hmm. just, uh, okay. just with well, the amount saying. Well, we set have to put the dollar, the set well, aside. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just say we're going to empty this and whatever the balance is, okay. we'll be right. pulling from do the we, general fund. Do we right. have the wording from the town, fall town meeting, if anything was taken? Because what you gave me doesn't say I what. Know. Because this I know what you mean. Okay. Although there's... Um, there's the doings for the town website, town meeting doings, where it has all the changes and amendments. Well, yeah. for example, in the annual town meeting of 019, we spent 300, the town voted, oh no, CPA voted $300,000 for APRs. Did that money get spent? Well, uh, okay. if it was approved, it's earmarked. Right. So we can't touch that money. Right, that's, right. We need to consider that spent. Right. Right. That, that's over in this one. Right. And this tells you how much is left. That's, that? Those are like outstanding yeah. checks. Uh, well, no. This is money appropriated but not spent. Right. Um, we right. Yeah, but we so, don't so know. So we don't. At the CPA levels, you, you ignore this and it's the money appropriated that we're talking yeah, but we don't know if, for example, that came out of the, the open space set aside right. and the balance came from the general fund. Well, that's usually we what can we only, do. We can only hope that we, we did it because that's because how we wanted it done. Because the mm -hmm. APRs, we've always done the open space and then the balance from, from there, the general fund. And then, but then we had other funds kick in, too, right. that wasn't all CPA. Right. So. Right. Right. Well, I'm right, sure. So yeah, we need to. We, I mean, we need to try and figure. We need to get a hold of a yeah. handle on this. Uh, I, and I know, policy. I know you're trying. It's yeah. not not for lack of trying. I I, I well, agree I mean, with you. If we take the amounts that we had, the last report from the account. Yeah. And. Use those figures. Well, but the last account, the the last number we got from the accountant was that after annual town meeting. The spreadsheet that you had, Edwin, mm -hmm. that talked about town meeting. Yeah. That's it. That's this one. This was February 7th by Linda Sanderson. So we don't know it. But there's just, there's no accounting of what's in the set aside. Well, Andy's got the numbers from August, what mm -hmm. we had from town in August. So we, we know what we had, like um, open space was what, 61,000? Yeah. So we know that we would have wiped that out. So that's at zero. 
it should be at zero, yes. So now it's at 43,380, because that was the 10% that got put No, in. but we didn't, we didn't approve that. That was just, no. the town meeting has to vote to put those right. funds right. in the... So those are all put into, that's all kind of set off. So can yep, the proposals be... now go against that 43,000? Correct. Okay. Correct, yes. What we're supposed to do is, if there's that, that amount of money in that account, we draw from that account first until it's down to zero. Okay. Then we get the balance from the general fund. Okay. So that one we know is 43380 for recreation, if it was wiped out before. Right. Well, we, that wasn't approved yet right. we just at town see, meeting. Right. We, we, have to, we have to wait until we go to town meeting right. to allocate the money into those accounts. So right now, it's all put into the general yeah. fund. Right. And then we will, at town meeting, vote to put a certain amount into each one. Okay. Yeah. And then spend it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That's all right. If we ever yeah. get to it, right. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I don't well, know. We would, well, if we wiped out the general fund for or the, uh, the open side. space, if we wiped out the open space, then any proposal coming forward now would have to be taken out of the general fund. Right. Usually, so, what we've done before is we've said we're gonna someone comes before us with a proposal for fifty thousand dollars. There's thirty thousand dollars in that appropriate set aside. So we say, okay, we approve this. We approve we uh, taking thirty thousand dollars out of that set aside and twenty thousand dollars from the general fund. Okay. So. When we, when the in individual who proposed that motion goes before a town meeting, the townspeople know what they're voting on. Right. So it looks like we did. So the CPA articles for the fall town or 19 annual town meeting 19, we had the 210,000 for a dollar. Yeah, did you, and did you take Then we had APR, yeah, I've got it right here. I'm looking okay. at it right here. Okay. And then uh, Nibala was 83,091. Mm -hmm. And so that would have been 2019. Right, last. And then we have historical would have lost, um, but, okay, special town meeting. So those would, would have been in the spring. So that wouldn't have been... No, the ATM is annual town meeting, special right, town so meeting that's, is the fall. Right, so ATM, so those two farms, APRs, would not have been taken out of the money. Well, they're that's in the, they're in the uh, so column the, of uh, approved but not spent. Right, but what I'm saying is because it's annual town meeting, those two, those would have been before we allocated money to replenish those accounts. So there is money in those accounts. So, but in the fall town meeting, we took money for the cemeteries. Right. So that would have been on a historical. Yeah. There were three of those. Mm -hmm. 25,000, 82,000, and 5,000. And then the Hopkins Fields. Was it 180? 185,000. That would have come out of the open space. So that would have wiped. No, but that's, I'm sorry, that's annual town meeting. And then special town meeting, uh, there's nothing else for 19. So the only thing we voted on the special town meeting, which would have been the fall, would have been the, it looks like the historicals. The cemeteries. Yeah. Historical funds. And if you can read that any better than I can, then. No, I, yeah, I think you did a very good job. <laughs> That's how I could. Read that because <laughs> of the small print. Small print. Because <laughs> it doesn't say where it came from. All, all it says is CPA funds. Right. But we'd have to guess. Or right. Look, but cemeteries would have come out of historical, historical which has a ton of money in it. Yeah. It does. Yeah. Because okay. we haven't had a lot of historical projects coming forward, so that fund just keeps growing. Housing too. Right, and the housing. And the housing, especially. All right. Yeah. Unless we could. There's no way to run a railroad, but I think nope. no. we've had these good people wait long enough. Okay. Uh, we try to get our act together. Mm -hmm. What do we do with the agenda? 
All right. Uh, Park and Rec. Well, you you, want can, me to come up you can come up, you can do it from your seat, what? however you, what, how, however you'd like to. Do you need me to give another presentation? Or? Uh, well, let's see, are there any changes or updates or amendments to the we're, presentation from the last billion, week? The pavilion one we're doing first, or? Mm -hmm. uh, sure, let's do the pavilion one first. I don't have any changes on the pavilion. Okay. Can she just go over that? Because can for you, me to vote on the pavilion. She just okay. needs to do a quick and give us the elevator pitch. Sure. Yes. Um, so the pavilion. I can come up, I guess. Since <laughs> this way you get to do the camera. Yeah. Great. It's my favorite thing. <laughs> uh, so I can. Do you want a handout? Yep. Okay. So the pavilion uh, project is. Uh, we're asking for eight thousand dollars in total. The PTO has uh, offered two thousand towards that eight thousand for um, finishing the project at the Hadley Elementary School Pavilion for the electrical lighting and picnic tables. Okay. Are they the same picnic tables that they have at Whole Foods? Those kind of... I kind of like blinders on when I go in Whole Foods. From the handout, it looked like they were. They are yeah. really hefty. Yes, yeah, sturdy, kind of rubber coated. Yeah. Yeah. Last forever. But um, do we know where they're going to be in the winter? Are they going to be put away? Has anyone thought about that? I believe they're just going to stay out. The picnic tables Sorry. in the winter. What the? Are they the going to be tables in stored? The are they going to be stored for yeah, the winter? Yeah. They're okay. weather resistant. They can stay out. Okay, they're going to stay out there. Uh, any other questions about this one? No, there are, we're, they're asking for three quarters, no, 20. They're asking for six. Right. Right, six thousand? Yeah, three quarters, something like that. Okay. Um, I make a motion to approve um, uh, this project for the six thousand dollars. Second. I'll second it. Sure. Okay. So let's get it straight. It's six thousand mm -hmm. dollars to park and rec for electrical wiring of the Hadley Elementary School pavilion and what do we want to call it? Picnic tables. Picnic tables. Electrical. Yeah. Electrical picnic tables. Okay. So that's what it says. Park and rec's gonna get the money, it'll be responsible for buying in getting the electrician. Are you sure you want to do that? <laughs> <laughs> do, you have enough, do you have enough to do? I do, yes, but no. Yes, okay, we'll it kind of seems like you're doing it for the school department. You know, so just make sure you want to do it. Well, I utilize that pavilion in the summer for summer camp, so it is helpful to have picnic tables onto there as well. It cuts down my workload. Right. Oh, I remember what I wanted to ask you. Is there, wi is there Wi-Fi out there? There's not. Well, is, is that something you want to? You can, if you're on the school Wi-Fi, like teachers yeah. and anyone else who can use that Wi-Fi has that capability. Can I can be on the school Wi-Fi when I'm sitting out under that picnic table because I utilize their network. So any teacher that sits out there that has the password, that kind of thing, have the guests, they, whoever is on that network, okay. that kind of thing. So yes. Any further comments? With the two years uh, to be spent within the yes. two years. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Two years. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. 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 I think we just put on everything. Right. And we're going to take this out of. Uh, what are we taking this out of? Uh, general fund. General. Mm -hmm. No, it should come out of. It looks as uh, if we have. Okay. There's funding in there because nothing for the fall town meeting or special town meeting came out of. Looks like we only had the cemeteries. So, and let's say, so we uh, should say out of um, open space yeah. and if insufficient funds out of the general fund. There you go. Do you accept that? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're well, really glad you're back. <laughs> favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed?
Okay, number two. All right, I'm going to get you to hang up for this one. how I have been doing it. Okay. And they have still changed. Well, and then I have I have asked people on the lower town hall if they want me to object to the wording. And I haven't been told yes yet. <laughs> well, so well it was because we well I would just recommend that if it's not before it gets printed in the town warrant, you want to see a proof of it. I, I can I can try to do that. And then if it's different, then you don't approve the proof. You know, that's, that's the only thing I can suggest. But this is the... I didn't believe in computers and stuff, so I wrote out everything on the God bless you. Town Hall didn't like it at all. I want you to know that I am firmly rooted in the 20th century and am happy to use any 20th century technology. I realize that we are in the 21st century. Yeah. But uh, we're moving in the right direction. It takes time. Right. Those little bit glaciers yeah. I said Joe Fitzgibbons was in the 18th century, Edwards in the 19th century, and Adam in the 20th century. Yeah. Progress. That's progress. <laughs> All right. All right. So the one thing I did bring for the fitness court um, on top of last week's presentation was just um, kind of the map of Saturka Park okay. so you could see where it would go. Now it's, mm -hmm. an, it's an older map, so on the picture, I put some purple arrows to show that that, um, I guess, that grade area has kind of moved more towards Huntington Road. So that red X would be where the fitness court would go. In the back. Yep. Or um, there's also room where that little red star is. So there's two spots where it could go, or it could oh. fit, kind of thing. So, so, so just just my two cents when I, I was just thinking it would go right up front. In the back, I would think that would be a big problem because of the sliding in the wintertime. People are going to crash into that. And the kids, that's a beautiful hill. They're going to go up there whether we like it or not, <laughs> I would think. Well, I know, but, that, but the, here's the, when they had the um, snow day, next thing you know, last winter, everybody was, they were all going up there. Well, in the front, that's where that, um, I guess, retention pond is, so that's where that. The, I, the retention pond right here, yeah. Yeah, yeah right in the front. That's, um, that was for a future pavilion. There was a spot, like, laid out for that. If it was more towards the star, would that in interfere with the sledding? I, I, maybe not, but I'm just there's a beautiful there's a big hill there, and I, I and if you put it there, and, and this stuff is covered with snow and all, but you just have a block there, but there's a lot of snow on it, and kids go up and down there, they're gonna hit that block. Mm -hmm. No, not adverse that. Those are just the yeah. two spots where it would. Fit. I mean, it could yeah, it could be up there. Uh, okay, but yeah. I, I don't we have to be. Um, Correct me if I'm wrong, but aren't we uh, supposed to recommend that it go here or there? And the commit, because we're we're saying to town meeting, okay, we approve this. We get we're paying paying a certain amount of money to put it here. But now we're being told, well, it's going to go here or there. We don't know. Well, so she wanted, they wanted well, it there. I just kind of just. Well, yeah. I guess I was just coming forward with the with the plot of the Turk Park to show you where it could fit in that scheme. But not just not necessarily where it would fit. Okay. But just where it could. I think after our last discussion, I think Andrew probably had the best suggestion. Probably not the ideal spot, 
and after reading over the proposal again the other evening, is for 14 to 18 years old. I think the ideal spot would be the Hopkins Academy where they're redoing the, the ball fields. The coaches can use it for exercise, for punishment, or whatever, and it could be much more utilized in that position. I would vote in favor of it if it were moved to the Hopkins Academy site. Is there a location there? Pardon? For 14 and up, not 14 and 18. Pardon? It's for 14 and up, not 14. 14 and up, right. Did I say something different? 14 and 18. Four, yeah, 14 and up, but that's the primarily the group that's going to be using it. And uh, I think everybody. Well, everybody will use it. Then you have parking there. It's going to be It'll be much better utilized, I think. Is there a spot, and would the school committee have to approve it? Well, the school committee wouldn't have to approve it, but the you would like to meet and with the, Eric yeah. Sudnick, who's who's the point for the ball fields and redoing the ball field to see if there would be an appropriate place to put it. Saying, look, we're going to get the funding, and I would support the funding there. I wouldn't support it at this site. But in that way, uh, we'll know exactly where it will go, how it will fit into it, the, the whole ball field. I asked my son, who's 30, um, and lived down at Phobia Heights for six years. And he said a whole lot of people jog up and down Huntington Road. He said he thinks he thinks it would be used by people. You know, it, a lot of people. There's a pretty dense population of people right around that, but a lot of people. It's a short bike ride to get to it too. And those wouldn't be cars as much. Joggers and bikers wouldn't, wouldn't be coming by car. It is kind of central. You know, it isn't so good for. Way North Hadley or Hockenham, but it is central to a lot of things. And it is a way to use this space that's hard to use other ways. Um, you know, the price tag is just sort of overwhelming. But, <laughs> you know, from having bought stuff for apartment communities, so much of it is the liability insurance the manufacturer has to pay. I mean, that ups, you know, that, that ups prices quite a bit too. You know, I, I, I can see why you're thinking that that would be a way to use that space in a way that people might really enjoy. Well, there was supposed to be basketball courts going there. There was supposed to be a small pavilion there. And this, that was in the original plans we approved. They eat up $300,000. Now they're going back for $100,000 more, and we don't have the the basketball court that was supposed to be there, nor the pavilion that was supposed this to be there. This is a different project. Pardon? This is a different project. This it is a different project, but where did that money go? I wasn't here. Oh, I understand. So well, that's what we approved. So yeah. you were uh, for this uh, um, fitness court. You're a you're asking from the CPA for one hundred and ten thousand. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. And because you got you got a grant of thirty thousand dollars from somebody else. Correct. Thousand? Thirty thousand. Initially, I'd asked for a hundred thousand, then uh, went back and discussed with my commissioners, and we changed it to a hundred and ten uh, because of the cement slab. Okay. You know, with all due respect to the uh, people in that area going to use it, those are the people that initially wanted the Turka Park converted, mm -hmm. and they had a friends of the Turka Park, and they were going to contribute all the money. Well, we're all living in this area. They contribute a little money in time, I mean time, uh, uh -huh. but no money. And uh, so that's, that's we hear the positive signs, but in actuality, mm -hmm. they don't support it. So, any other opinions? I really like the, I like this project. I like that it's in the Turkey Park. I think it makes a lot of sense for how that area is zoned, and I think it will bring people to that area since we already invested a lot of money in it. Um, and I prefer it in the starred spot over the X spot. I think I'd be very amenable to the starred spot, not encouraging sliding there, but knowing it could be a possibility. Um, I live on Rocky Hill. I mean, 
I already like the upper area that we're doing stuff with. We have a Girl Scout that's doing a project with kind of A-frame type exercise thing there, and I think that this would complement it well. So obviously I support it. I mean, I don't want, I feel that they've come forward with this um, proposal and that I don't want to redesign it for them. So I think if, I'm not in the recreation business, so if the rec department um, thinks it should be there, then, I mean, I, would, I wouldn't mind it over at Hopkins, but I think, Coaches could have the kids jog up there and use it. So, mm -hmm. get their workout in. So. You know, Hadley doesn't have a tennis court, it doesn't have a swimming pool, it doesn't have a lot of, that a lot of other towns have for a recreation type thing. And this might be a real nice thing that isn't in the main area. I mean, we have these wonderful hiking trails, we have a wonderful bike to walk on and bike paths, um, but this would be something additional is in terms of trying to do something for the townspeople recreation work. I, um, I, I like the project. I definitely, as long as it's closer to the uh, road, um, I do question, um, just throwing out there, when you say it has to be, usually it's 14 and over, just throwing out there, is there is there signs or something? Will we be in liable? Do you know if we would be liable at all? Because you know, you who's gonna? Money. No, there's no police in there. There's no staff there. Just can put signage up, just like we would with a public park. Or we have yeah. signage being ready to put, be put out at the Church Park right now for you know being there at your own risk, no sliding on the hill, that kind of thing. Is that what we do? Um, so that was a question because I, I, I wasn't, you know, I know that there's play structures all over and you do it at your own risk type of thing, but when you, usually it doesn't have an age limit either. <laughs> and as soon as we said the age, I'm like, oh, <laughs> okay. And so, you know, I liked, I, I, I understand uh, what Dr. Z is saying in, in some cases, um, but I definitely, want, we put so much money into it at this point, do we want to leave it blank? I mean is another question. Um, Hopkins, I, I will go for either way, however it ends up working. Hopkins would be a, a, a great place only because um, I was just, I happened to be at the basketball game and asked Eric uh, if they would even be able to have it because I was wondering how that would work. And he, they would love it. Um, but that's, you know, because he would be able to incorporate it with you know, some of his gym classes or with the, with the training prior to, you know, the soccer or the other sports. So it would be a good thing. It might get used a little bit more because of those kids, but then it might make it also awkward for someone older, you know, who wants to use it and, it, you know, doesn't want to go to the school during school time. Right. So someone you're talking that's out of school. So, so you know, there's goods and bad about both projects. You know, so both sides. Yeah, both sides. Both sides. Any other comments from the audience? Any comments on this project? I'm I'm really excited to see um, more things kind of going in Butcher the Park and supporting that, enriching our community and making the space usable. Um, and I would be really excited. And I do also, the during school hours, the limitations, um, because the community members during school hours can't access um, the school property. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that does put a big, big limit on that. And if, and in, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but if this is CPA money, uh, anybody can come in, mm -hmm. you, not just have the residents. Right. Well, right, yes, that's correct. Not just have the residents. say too just you know you see CrossFit places like up and down Route 9 and you know there's definitely a demand for that kind of working out I, I don't 
personally do that, but I know there's a lot of demand for it, and this could be something Park and Rec could offer that kind of class there. I mean, they've done um, um, Zumba classes and that kind of thing up at uh, North Hadley Hall in the past, and they don't have that facility anymore, so it opens that up, and just something else for people in the community that might not be able to afford a gym can go there and do stuff, so who knows? I think it opens up doors to other people in the community. Maybe Park and Rec could even in spring do a training session for people that aren't sure how to use it. Mm -hmm. that's something well, I'm afraid I'm still at all. For location, but mostly we have all these buildings that we're going to spend potentially millions of dollars trying to rehabilitate and preserve. And I think their priority of $100,000 for a fitness court I think is just too much right now. So that's, that's my opinion. And even with the change in location, I think I'm still on that. But with the location and the, uh, those are my two issues. So that being said, do I hear a motion? I'll make a motion that we approve the um, Park and Rec request for the 110000 for the fitness center at Joker Park. Second. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Let's raise our hands this time. All right. All in favor? I would, I would, I would recommend that for town meeting, that you pick exactly words. Yeah. The more specific you can be. And how big it is on this spot yeah. would be helpful. Yeah. You know, what the footprint is. This is the most recent blueprint that we had, which is pretty old. For no, but I mean, just I, I'm not sure how much right. is that. Right. I think I can get a cleaner, like blueprint without all the. Take a screenshot of Google Maps and superimpose the, uh, the a picture of the court, so long as it's you know the super the position is the right size mm -hmm. okay. to the map, and that would, would be the most helpful. For people. Thank you. All right. Uh, you don't have to stay. Thank you. You can go home. All right. Moving right along. Um, let's see. Well, David's not here. So we'll skip over the hooker window, uh, which brings us to the health department. Uh, we're also going to skip over his uh, historic ironwork restoration. No, that's that's actually this. Well, it's two projects of the same, but I will take over for him uh, okay, no. when we get to it. But we're going out of order because we're going to the people who are here first. Okay. It's only polite. You really made a way to Um, okay. So I think if you want to start and, and really talk about the disability for the doors, okay. um, I think uh, at this time um, there's a lot more uh, background stuff that we need to do apparently um, and the involvement of other departments and I, I personally don't um, see us having the bandwidth or the ability to drive the project forward at this time. So I think we're going to have to set it aside for now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, which is unfortunate, but. But I, but I think good, because it's important to do it right and to get all the ducks in a row. Yeah, yeah thank you very much for your candor. Yeah. Thank you. Um, and then in terms of the Lake Warner testing, um, during the past week, it's really the same as what we sent out last week, except for I included maps which um, with areas within Hadley and on the back side as well that have the identified waterways um, within Hadley, including Parker Reservoir, which... Do you see? Nope. Oh. 
No. Oh. It's saving your list. Oh. Okay. And then when we think about Parker Reservoir and potentially the other spots like Sandy Beach, um, which we're hoping the Connecticut River Conservancy would help support the testing of, um, but they don't have the uh, capacity for the cyanobacteria as well. But those areas would create the need for additional tests, both for E. coli and cyanobacteria, mm -hmm. to be performed. So just looking at that, um, it, it still made the budget under what we had initially requested of the 1500 um, but it brought it to 1479 52 um, I think uh, public health is obviously a lot in everyone's mind with what's kind of going on in the news and stuff like that. Um, and I just really thank everybody for letting me come forward and talk about this concern that we have to make Hadley as safe as we can be for our public and the people that come and use our waterways and everything like that. Um, and also the abutters to all of these properties as well. Um, and thank you for that. Okay, any further questions? Yeah, I, I don't remember what you said about we're not going to have to do this every year, so it's the one time testing. So that's a great question, Amy. And we really hope to not have to come here again. Um, but this, there are numerous public health concerns that are going on right now that are unfunded by our town um, that we're asking for as a health department to be supported. Um, and we're having a challenging time with moving forward to make our community as safe as we can be and as prepared as we can be. And this is monies that we have asked for within our budget, but we're very concerned about not moving forward. And that also we have numerous other concerns that couldn't possibly be fit under the CPA recreation window um, within town availability of funds mm -hmm. um, that we would have to be able to use elsewhere. Um, I mean, ju just even this past week, um, there was kids fishing at Lake Warner. Um, the Friends of Lake Warner have worked very hard on this project for a long time. And uh, without the support of the town at this time, the continuation of testing um, to make sure that we're reporting back to our public doing our fiduciary duty mm -hmm. um, isn't really going to be able to be possible at this time without the extra support of the town in some way. Yeah, I wouldn't mm -hmm. eat fish if we caught it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Andrew, this kind of leads to a bigger discussion. Has the CPA ever funded, which appears to be it's going to be a lying item veto for the Board of Health every year? What do you mean? Is it operating expenses? Well, okay, let's, all right, let's talk about it. The CPA is not supposed to be used for ongoing projects. Um, this is the third time any group has come to us, di different groups, right, for water testing. So is that great or is that the third year in a row? Well, actually, the first time we funded two years worth of it. So <coughs> it's, this, this will be the fourth year of CPA funding water testing. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, the projects are a little bit different, right? The scope is broader, the amount of testing has increased. Um, uh, it's kind of tough. But it also seems very important. Uh, well, yes. It's, it's, Didn't a, we it's also important, but does it fall into the categories that are mandated by the CPA? When it comes to a line item veto, it used to be in the past, that was for voting. I mean, if, it's, if that's critical, it should be in your budget. Right. I mean, I, I guess the question is, based on the Lake Warner monitoring that they originally did, they came back, and correct me if I'm wrong, and said, this is a town project that should be, mm -hmm. this for, for health, mm -hmm. health and safety, the town should be paying for this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And... I think you're, that not, you're not disagreeing. I'm not disagreeing at all. I think yeah. it's a very important project. Mm -hmm. um, we have been in, in frequent communication with Peter and Jason with the Friends mm -hmm. of Lake Warner in terms right. of our concern about mm -hmm. the issue. Um, I personally got a tour of the lake, um, of the Lake Warner last year. Uh, 
We've been in communication with the Connecticut River Conservancy, DEP, trying to get see if there's other grant funding. Um, unfortunately, those grant blocks closed in December and won't be open again, potentially until December. They also really restrict the availability of those funds to very large groups that are doing testing, not small municipal groups. Um, so there's, it, there's kind of a lot of challenges with being able to be it. I, I wish it was so easy to get funding and, and well, This is something we have to wrestle yeah. with uh, as a board because sure. uh, you can imagine every board coming in for a line out of veto that they haven't appropriated out of their own budget. And, uh, and in the past, what we've generally said is, okay, we'll fund it this year, but not again, for example, painting the town hall. It was a little bit of a stretch, whether it was mm -hmm. historical, but they were supposed to set money aside for mm -hmm. painting it in the future. In the future. Yeah, I guess I, I don't really know how to, else to say it diplomatically, um, but we've asked for, for funding to help support our public health needs in town. We're trying to do that as a gradual increase, um, and even with the small increase that we had, even that wasn't fully supported at this time. We're still going to be meeting with finance and other committees in town. Um, but we were really looking forward to, one, having a conversation about how critical of a need this is uh, within our, our community. And then also we're looking at possibly an alter, alternate way of receiving funds to still make this possible that there might not otherwise be the ability for. So I guess, Amy, I'm going to throw this your way. Mm -hmm. If this is a public health issue, mm -hmm. why would it not be funded by the town? Yeah. <laughs> why would it be? Why would it be pulled from their budget? I don't, I don't know that it's not, did it, did David pull it out? Um, I, we haven't gone over right. our budget this okay. year. Yet. I think it's not fair to. Right, I but, think it's a good question. I'm, I'm just it, if if someone if someone in the department says we have to do this, DPW does it all the time. We mm -hmm. have to do this. It's a mandate. Right. Then we have to fund it. We just have to figure out where to fund it from. Right. Right. So, where did the get pulled from? Was it the town administrator said no, or so? I guess I'm trying to. I think that's what well, we no, we 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 do on the spot. But yeah. no, I'm just trying to get to rest. Well, no, I'm not trying well, to. Well, maybe it didn't come out of our committee. Did right, your committee vote to have you represent the Board of Health and come before us? Mm -hmm. Okay, so. so then maybe so, not out of the committee. Right, but I guess my question is where where did it get pulled? On what level? Is it on the. We don't have to name names. Was it, is it on the town hall level that the funding got line item veto? Um, or did it. There, were, there are yes. other critical portions of our budget that were vetoed um, with the first pass through the select board. So right the now. select board vetoed it? Um, at this time, but that's why we have the second presentation with the finance committee and then I could believe it goes back to the select board. Mm -hmm. So um, I know I'm really excited um, to be here and now and trying right. to propel this forward and propel the, the need for public health. Um, I think that this has been a problem, not a problem, but an issue for a very long time. And I think the former and current board members have really done the best that they can, but mm -hmm. haven't had the resources to push things through, do those mm -hmm. uh, reflective studies, gather data, all of that stuff that we really right. needed to get us to the point where we, where we feel like we can, um, in an educated manner, ask for mm -hmm. more funds and, and the stuff that we need. See, because as a town resident, it just befuddles me that mm -hmm. we would have a board of selectmen that would veto they, I don't a, think that we just, we just, it, was just it, it wasn't like that. Right. The, 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 everybody got their bud, put in budgets, then it was just reviewed by the town administrator. He just put some recommendations, what he thought, and just tried to balance it. It's at this point that everybody's coming through, right. and then we will touch base okay, with the right. select board to try right. to balance it again. All right. Yeah. So, so all right, so nobody if, really kicked it out too much. Okay. It's just all right. That's that's because that was what was concerning me, yeah. especially you know we've got all of this coronavirus in the news and everything else that 
if it comes down to the Board of Health is going to play a much larger role in what happens in the town. So well, I, mean, I agree with the, and what we need to know whether or not it's something that has to be done. Is it the state level? Is it do we have to do it? And, and two, my mm -hmm. recommend my thought is we tested this, especially the uh, Lake Warner, right? Yep. We know it's not good. Do we have to keep testing it every time to keep saying it's still no good? It's still if we put a sign up and say do not swim, this is uh, or do not fish, Absolutely. it's no good. <laughs> Why do we have to keep telling? You know, oh, we can I see can, it's not. I, I can answer that. Okay. Because there were various levels of use, and the bacteria level was not consistent. So you might not be able to swim, but you might be able to fish and boat. Or if it gets worse, you might not be able to swim or fish but you still might be able to boat. And so testing tells you what you can do on one particular time. You can't just test in the spring and say, yes, it's good, or no, it's not good. Right, just like any swimming area needs to be tested. And how big is the pond? Is it considered a great pond? <laughs> I mean, technically, uh, big, technically? Acres, I think. Okay, how, so big, how big is the pond here? 68 acres. 68. So, isn't it anything over 10 acres is considered a great pond and therefore required as specific? I, I believe it's state mandated that right. towns have to test. Right. Right. If I may, I'm sorry to interrupt yeah. here, but I just, this was Friday. And it's four kids, teenagers, mm -hmm. fishing mm -hmm. at the town landing. So this is Lake Warner, that's the Friends of Lake Warner. Yeah. But this belongs to the town. The actual E. coli that we test, we wade in here about that deep and stick a bottle in and test it. That's where it's done. What? So no, we don't no, have no. a sign up now? Uh, no. No. Well, no. We have a, a bulletin board there. And we, as we test, we post. Mm -hmm. And we, we have an additional complication. I'm really sorry to interrupt this, but an additional complication this year. It's not just you can't swim, you can't fish, you can't boat, you can't go on the lake anymore. Uh, uh, but it's because of the cyanobacteria. Well, thank you for telling me because I almost did. Yeah. So the parameters have changed. Well, right? I have great sympathy yeah. with, with your problem that funding this again and again and again. Yeah. Yes. But the parameters actually have changed with the advent of cyanobacteria. Okay. Unfortunately, the friends would like to continue doing this and funding, but we can't. We don't have the money. We simply do not have the money in our budget to do it. And that was the idea when they came before us for the funding initially, that because this is a town pond mm -hmm. that the townspeople use, many people use on a regular basis, mm -hmm. if we are, because it's a public property, we are responsible to right. do the testing on it. Which we acknowledge and we also fully support. Yeah, right. Is and the town own it? No. It, no. The town owns however, the land. However, <laughs> however, there's public access. Right. Yeah. Which we is have, where we become liable. And because it's, and I'd have to look at, because it's a great pond, considered a great pond, there are specific requirements mm -hmm. in the state to um, maintain or to test in those areas. I mean, when we first yeah. came, when yeah. Friends of Lake Warner first came to the CPA looking for money for this, we were testing the entire lake and tributaries. Mm -hmm. So we were trying to get a scientific picture of the state of the lake. That's mm -hmm. what it was all about. Part of what we did was we tested down at the land, and we posted that up as a public service. But, you know, I went before the town meeting, I think it was three years ago, saying, hey, <laughs> this is the town responsibility. <laughs> not the lake, not the lake, just that one spot. Now you're saying it's it's all this, you can't do this, you can't do this because of how bad it's gotten. What's going to make it get better? Does time make it get better or does someone have to do something to make it get better? Yeah, that's a good question, Amy. I, there are numerous conditions to which change the safe, safeness, that's the wrong word. The, 
Um, how safe the water is, temperature definitely affects the amount of algae growth and bacterial growth. So as the seasons ebb and flow, as winter comes, it's cooler, uh, the bacteria counts drop. Um, so there definitely is that seasonal influx, which is why we see that I hate to say it's beautiful, but the cyano is so beautiful with how green it is, um, how it blooms to that big green in like Ju July, August, during those peak temperatures of both the water temperature and the ambient temperature in the air. To the new people aboard, the original reason for coming before the uh, CPA was to repair the dam. That's it. That's all that's we're going to do. But it's slowly been a creep. Now we're being in, in charge of fixing Lake Water or policing Lake Water, which is really a, a private uh, pond. But nevertheless, it, you know. Well, it may uh, so be a private whose there's responsibility a, there's a is it? There's a public boat ramp there. And, and we are encouraging so the you, public to go in. So we either shut down the boat ramp okay. and say no access or we step up and do our due diligence and be responsible for people potentially of the town who may be in there and use it and not aware that there's a hazard. I mean, once we know that there's a hazard, turning your head to uh, making a blind eye, we're opening ourselves up for liability. I mean, that's you can't stick your head in the sand once we know that there's a problem there. We have to do something, either shut it down or continue to monitor it. I mean, that's... So this is amounting to, Andrew was correct, four times, it's amounting to really a line item budget that we're funding. And... Uh, well, but, so. but the original was trying to, the original monitoring was trying to get the state of the lake and all the tributaries. This in its end, based on that monitoring, that's where the responsibility came that there's additional things in the lake that need to be monitored for the sake of public health. And was that what came back? I, I didn't hear. Well, so that's what the Board of Health that's has determined. Right. That's what I just heard her say. Well, so who sure told you that? The, the state? The, the State Department of Public Health and the Department of Environmental Protection. So they are mandating you to do that, to do this testing? So there are any recreational bodies of water in towns, boards of health have a mandate that we are supposed to be monitoring them, testing them, and reporting them. We have, that. that is a mandate, that is regulated, that, and it's unfunded, unfortunately. Um, yeah. From, from what I'm hearing is just that why, why, are, why is the CPA paying the bill? I'm thinking, and that's all. Why isn't this a town responsibility? It should be in the in the town's budget, and the town should do it. And that's, am I hearing you say that you're I, here? And you're stuck in the middle. If and if the town puts it in your budget, mm -hmm. you won't use these funds. Correct. Okay. That would be the huh. I, the ideal setting. So then. I, ideally, How this may be that? as needed, or uh, no. You would just withdraw it from right. the town meeting. Right. Oh, okay. That would be the easiest way. But if it's on there for the CPA, will the town be less likely to fund it? But it's a it's a mandate. Uh, well, I mean, no. Well, there. How many unfunded mandates don't we have? Mandate we'll have to fund? To figure out. A lot. Uh, we have a lot. I, I but if we have people, I mean, we have tournaments out there in the winter, the ice tournaments. You have people going out there doing the cleanups. You've got a lot of different things going on yeah. out there that are encouraged by the town. We have a public boat ramp. Yeah. You know, you drive by there on a weekend, and today. every little spot, oh, yeah. or even today, every little spot where someone can park, it's parked. So unless we're going to say no boats, no parking, no use, we've got to do our due diligence on this. This is basically an emergency request. It's the town's responsibility. What are we going to do if the town doesn't pick it up? Okay. I would reiterate what Paulette said if I were to make any additional comments, so I support everything that she said. And I definitely support 
funding this, although hopefully it becomes a town mm -hmm. budget. Yeah. 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 Andrew, have you checked yeah. to see if we could fund something like this? Is this uh, out? I, I have not. The okay. commission yeah. is out of commission. Unfair to put all the burden on you. I'm sorry. No, no, no. The, the commission's out of commission and uh, they can't, they can't help us. <laughs> yeah. What I'm asking is, there are many good ideas, but they're not all eligible for CPA funding. Yeah. So that's, and there are certain yeah. parameters right. that we have yeah. to follow. I get it. But I, I look at it from the standpoint, if we're in keeping this public boat ramp open to public recreation, then it is our responsibility. I think that is something that is for us, we're encouraging by having the boat ramp there. And I and, think... And for me, it's not just the boat ramp. I think Lake Warner is, is, a, uh, is right. a part right. of this project, but there was also two areas on the Connecticut River that were of concern this year um, that we didn't have the ability to test. Um, yeah. There's that Parker Reservoir that we're going to need to be monitoring as well. Mm -hmm. um, the res upper and lower reservoirs um, yeah. over by Hampshire College. So is there a way we can word this so that if it, if this uh, becomes a town mandated budget item, <laughs> we can withdraw it? Well, no, you know, they're they're not, they, they would have they're to. Not gonna it now. They, the yeah. chances yeah. are it's, yeah. that's not going to happen. Well, who knows? We well, don't, don't depend on miracles. I am always encouraged by the potential course, for success, course, course. and I have been tenacious <laughs> and always looking forward to things improving and us getting um, and making Hadley the community I know we all want it to be. Yeah, no no one is doubting that. Everybody wants that. It's just that this is like it was spoken earlier. This is a repeating thing to come back. We got to test for water. We got to test for water. We need yeah. TPA funds. Yeah. No, we shouldn't. We sh this should be a town budget item and not come out of TPA funds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what we're Oh, reiterate. But I don't want to say, no, we're not going to do this and not have the town step up. Mm. Yeah, I can I can see that. I think that would maybe it's going to be. like, would you do it next fire. year? Um, I think I would stand on town meeting floor and make an amendment to the budget to include it. Because it's a, it's a mandate that we are supposed to be doing. And anyone who has any relationship to that lake, even if you want to just look at it, or if people are boating out there, we, we need to, as I said before, do our due diligence and protect the, the health of the public. And, if we, if, I'm sorry. no, I'm, I'm just, you know, it just upsets me that we have things that we are encouraging people to do like recreation and things like that, and we're not following through with our responsibilities. Right. It's a Okay. Yeah. Uh, other should. comments? Wait, other comments? Yeah. I guess I have a really hard time with this being CPA, but yeah. you know, budget too. I mean, I think if we vote to pass it on here, I can't see the town quite funding it. If they, if we don't, the town pretty much has to. It's a mandate. Is that correct? Well, they have no, to, but they, they, they don't have There are, there are <laughs> many health department, many things that we're mandated to do that are not funded okay. at this time. And, and the biggest unfunded mandate is pension plans. For I'm, the, talking about, whoa, whoa, well, no, I'm talking about, I'm talking about, no, I'm talking about public mean, health. No, I know, but in our community. Right. the state yeah. has unfunded liabilities all over the place. Right. So. Yeah. Um, okay, my turn. Um, what exactly are we paying for? We're paying for the water to be tested. Mm -hmm. Are we paying for the water to be collected and delivered to the testing site? So how is that going to be done? Then? So by volunteers. I see, so that's something. All right. Um, and then there, there are going to be public reports mm -hmm. posted mm -hmm. on the town website and at 
the sites. So CRC. the Connecticut River Conservancy for the Lake Warner is where those weekly E. coli tests were posted. Um, and then also on the info board at the lake. And um, for us, I think that's something that I didn't totally think over. Um, I think figuring out the, the report, the results need to be posted at the sites to which they were collected. That is a fact. Um, and any notices, actions, um, when we did our alerts um, and that people couldn't use Lake Warner last year, we posted those on the, on the town website, our Facebook site, and then also at the site as well to which they were concerned. So the, so the non-Lake Warner sites, they have bulletin boards or something? I don't post, think they do, them. but we would figure it out because we have to. Might, might we need extra to make those posting sites? Mm -hmm. I think... Um, or is that something you're going to figure out as you go? I think we need to figure that out as we go, and that shouldn't be part of this project. Okay. Right. I think that's a fair question, though. Mr. Chairman, would it be appropriate to say that we could fund it this time, but it probably should be part of the budgetary process of the Board of Health? Absolutely. I was, I was just going to say that. Um, uh, then there was something I wanted to say first, which I can't. Oh, yes. Um, if this was the first time that this proposal had come to us, since you can use CPA funds to start a project, I have no doubt that it would be CPA okay. It's just that, like I said, it's the fourth time. So that being said, listen carefully, I'll support it this time, but I'm not going to support it next time, even though that's what I said the last three times. <laughs> this time, I really mean it. Well, we need to okay. say that to the Board of Selectmen. Okay, yeah. well, when they're tell, at tell the Board of Selectmen that I really mean it this time. Yeah. Yeah. Just look okay. in the camera. And I'm shaking my finger. Okay, look in the camera. Okay. Can I say something to this? Yes, please. I got together with Emma several months ago to work on this. And to, mm -hmm. This is not a Friends of Lake Warner proposal. No. Okay? No. Okay, we don't get a dime of this. We're not, we're supporting the Board of Health. But <laughs> we're not asking for it again. <laughs> it's not the same applicant three times, yes. but it is the same project three times. Yes. So let's just. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. If we could have done it any other way, we would. I'm sure. I'm sure. All right. If there's no further discussion, do I hear a motion? I'll move to fund this project um, for recreation um, under the recreation, and I think it's a. <coughs> it's a necessity under allowing public recreation. Okay. Do I hear a second? And spent within two years. Okay, so yeah. And it's the the money going to the Hadley Board of Health. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and how much is it for? Fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred. Of which you you figured you're going to spend fourteen hundred and something dollars. Mm -hmm. The remainder, you can't have a party. <laughs> you got to put it back in the general. Yeah. Okay, if there's no more discussion, all in favor? Opposed? Two. Where's that? Two. Eight to two. No abstentions. Two. 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 Four, five, six. Six to two. Six to two? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Eight. 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 Right, that's one. I'm not going to count. Eight people total. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Anna. Hey, Emma, before you go, let me ask you about the withdrawal. Yes. Um, before you totally withdraw it, do you want to, you know, you said you didn't think the Board of Health could sort of shepherd this through. Um, do you want to get a CPA grant to hire somebody to shepherd it through for you? Do you want to find think about it? Or, I want to think you know, about it. You know, you could, you, could, you could hire a consultant to devise a accessibility plan for the three major town buildings who could answer these questions, who could well, we don't look know. at the spaces. We don't know how much in a, right. a maybe, person maybe, would take. Maybe 
for next for next for, for next cycle. That's yes, what in six months. In six months coming back, mm -hmm. having a better. That's what I. Yeah. Try to collect ourselves a yeah. little bit. Yeah. And do all that. The great suggestions and homework and stuff. Mm -hmm. Good. All the all the, yeah. but all the right. right. stuff. But, but you don't have to do the homework. Right. You just have to find somebody who can do it for you. Right. right. And I hear you. Um, <laughs> um, but it, it's it is very challenging. Um, I mean, I do this as as volunteer work for the town. I also work full time. I'm a mom of three kids and engaged in other community um, activities and organizations. So trying to be able to facilitate, well, I think that as an action item sounds easy. Um, it's being really being able to collect ourselves to find someone to do that. Um, that still takes some time. Okay. Yeah. Well, think about it, because it's not that we're opposed to accessibility. Yep. You know, we I, just, we just she wanted, gets that. Just I, to I totally get it. Um, I just know in my heart of hearts, I, I don't have the ability to reasonably, safely, and um, like engage all those stakeholders and push it through at this time with all the stuff that I'm kind of holding on my shoulders. Right. So thank no, you for that. Knowing your limits is a sign of wisdom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, great, the Great Swamp, I, I forgot about asking that question. That's a big area. Is there any one area that is a concern? Why is it a concern? Of Lake Warner? No, Great I have, no, I just listed the all Great of... The Great Swamp. That's a wait. Huh? Where is the Great Swamp? So that's where the If you go on the is. website that's listed on the back side, and look at the city data Hadley maps. Um, it kind of came up with these maps in terms of the different waterways that are in town and the different um, classes that they are, like lakes or reservoirs and swamps. So I don't specifically know the answer to your question, but I know it came up as a body of water in town. And I, after last time not having all of them reflected on our proposal, I wanted to come back a little bit more together. Thank you. And looking at that, yeah. All right. Is that your son? Yeah. This Thank is my you oldest. for sitting through this. Board. We had to cancel. <laughs> we had to cancel scouts tonight because there was numerous illnesses right. within the group. So mm -hmm. that's why I'm glad, glad we were able to be here. You'd rather go to scouts and CPA? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't put him on this. He's spot. looking at. He's looking at mom going. Do I have to answer all honestly? All right. All right. All right. Um, Thank you so much. On to the next one. Um, the library. Old library. Oh, I want to find that one. Good one revitalization project. Let's have all the numbers. I'll get them. We have a total budget of $287,993. Yes. Of which you're okay, asking for. Can you say that again? Sure. Here, here. Oh, and of which you're asking from the CPA for $287,993. Correct. Uh -huh. I can understand that. <laughs> so, um, if, how does this jive with the numerous other project studies that were done for the Goodwin Memorial Library in the past? Yes, it's not for a library. I get that. I understand that. What's the difference? You're going to use it, you know, the public's going to go in it, you're going to rent a book, the public's going to go in it and attend, uh, attend the meeting. No real difference. So, previous, there was money appropriated to do a study of how the Goodwin Memorial Library is going to be used. We're getting a new library. This okay. is for town office. So that's the only difference. It's Correct. not going to be used for a library. No. It's not so all the other studies are we funded you know, were well, diddly spot. The, the other studies were mostly in regards to structural issues. And Have we, they changed? No. And that's, that's we're using all the that information. What this two hundred eighty-seven thousand dollars is is at to actually do all the work that's needed to get three of the departments within that building. 
what it is. So we we funded already the architect to go through, analyze, make sure that the three proposed departments could actually utilize the building. So he went through and talked to the different departments, find out what their needs were, and he uh, with the municipal building committee and talking with everybody, we formalized a plan. Okay? So one of the major issues that we were concerned about is to preserve the building as it is. And we use his expertise to say, all right, if you want to preserve the building and not destroy it for these uses, how can we do it? So there were some proposals with regard to how we could construct offices within that building without destroying the um, historical na interior nature of the building. One of the things is that certainly we needed more room. Uh, the, the town hall has a great need for meeting space. Everybody agrees that that first floor of Goodwin would be an ideal place to have meetings. Why? One, it uh, is accessible right now. Two, it's a little bit bigger than what we have in the town hall. So I think three too is Hadley Media could be set yes, up there permanently, yes, permanently as opposed to them moving Keep stuff moving, around yeah. from different locations. They can have one spot where meetings can be publicly yeah. viewed. The John's out of a job. So, <laughs> so, John will still be in a job. He just yeah. doesn't have to be a uh, <laughs> Sherpa. <laughs> so the planning board has a space to do their public. We have a space for park and rec to hold certain activities during the daytime when one planning board isn't there. There be a lot of meeting space in there. Planning board would be, they elected to use part of the uh, basement. The rest of the basement will be for storage for both uh, municipal uses and uh, park and rec. The second floor, or the upper floor I'll say, is where um, Hadley Media is right now. They're going to stay, and we have the ability to get some office space in there for uh, park and rec and some other things. So. Can I interrupt you for a second? Sir? Did we vote on the Ward test? You guys did vote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six to two, wasn't it? Was mm -hmm. it here? Yeah. 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 yeah, you, you said so. We had trouble counting right. how many okay. people yeah. we were. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see you moment. Okay, so that's what the money's. So, uh, to go over what the initial issues are, the primary issue is the ceiling. That's why we haven't used the, the upper floor, it's because it's loose. They will take down the ceiling, redo the ceiling, do, uh, redo the electrical. We got a um, live knob and tube, which is very unsafe. Which, which, which line item is the ceiling? In your project estimate. Well, structural engineering, and then the, what is it, the, what, what was he asking? Uh, for the, the ceiling. Yeah, is that, um, main floor, that, or the, that's yeah, the restroom, yeah. second floor. Well, that is in phase one? Phase one is what we're talking here. I don't see. A I don't see it uh, specifically broken out uh, where the where it's sheetrock, but so foundation. I guess one question I had, and I asked Andy, is all of this construction being proposed allowed under CPA, and that's why I think he was asking for line items because. There may be things under there that we can fund. We can't just give you a block of money and yeah. say, go spend it. So yeah. there's got to be specific things that are restoring. Um, I know we, we approved for, and it was approved for electrical, was previously when it, the library was going to stay there. But, but electrical didn't affect the work. Right. But it could very well be the ceiling is a very small amount of the electrical service requirement. So it might that might be actually in that sixty-five thousand dollars that's there. That could include 
So in order to do the electrical, we've got to take down the ceiling. So it's probably part of that $65,000. Okay. I looked up, you suggested looking up online the CPA things, and it does say um, for historical or open space or recreational, it makes the space functional for their intended uses, including but not limited to improvements to comply with the Americans with Disabilities Act and other mm -hmm. federal, state, and local building or access codes. So the knobbing tube has to be changed, but, and it's making it functional for the offices. And it is the elevator eventually and stuff in the bathroom now will be the Americans with Disabilities Act. So it seems like a lot of that. Well, this is where the lawyers come in, because as you read it, we're actually changing the purpose or the function of the building. We're keeping it a historic building in town, even though it's used not as a museum. It's still it's still preserving it as a historic building. But I guess you, you that's know, why he I said. I guess we can argue the lawyers again. That <laughs> right. I mean, I don't want to get into the weeds. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, part of the question was, is this acceptable under CPA? So. Right. Yeah. Right. right. That's. I'm and assuming that's why you were asking about line items. Well, I did, I did have other reasons, but we'll get yeah. to them yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I mean, that's part of this process, too, is working with you guys to see what can be funded by CPA, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, we just went through this whole thing about unfunded mandates in town, right. and this is something that's well-funded in town and a good return on investment for CPA. This being, or CPA is a great investment for the taxpayer. Yeah. We get a great return on investment for that money. Mm -hmm. So if we can spend that money on something that preserves a historic building in town, then that's a great use of the money. If, because of the law, we can't do it, then we need to, you know, change the plan. But I know that ta the town does not want to spend more money right now on things like this. It's a, it's a mm -hmm. hard struggle. So really the question is, do we want to work together to preserve a building mm -hmm. and not have it go in the direction of the Russell School, North Hadley Hall? Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, the hooker school, like buildings that we didn't make the effort to try to put some money into and restore and keep operating. So that's really what, that's really what we're, our vision is here is to try to, you know, preserve this building because we don't want another one that's a problem. And the way to preserve a building is to use it. Yeah. Okay. Well, how do we, how do we find out before the town meeting what's right. acceptable and what is it? Well, it's up to us. It's quite yeah. honestly, all the electrical. I would be surprised to see if that is something that CBA can't be funded by, because that's preserving, that's making a building a lot safer, so it doesn't burn down. Right. Uh, uh, Those are the yeah. things. Yeah. The ceiling. In order to do the electrical, you have to take down the ceiling. I mean, I mean. You can't just say, well, she rock can't be part of it. It's part of the entire project that you need to do. And, you know, to Well, it, it, it depends what you're replacing it with. Right. If you're replacing it with something that looks like what was there. It will. It's then a Then you can make a case ceiling. that you're preserving the historic right. character, right. character but of if the it's, building. But if it's a textured plaster and you're putting smooth sheet rock, that's well, not your like kind. A, like so a drop ceiling. Right. We're not doing a drop ceiling. Right. Right. So rocked, the, those would, are the types of things, the, yeah. detail, the level of details that we... And, and that's where we need your input. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. certainly if you say, you know, I can tell you right now, nobody in, in between the select board and the municipal building committee would ever want to see a drop ceiling in there. Uh, I can yeah. tell you it's a smooth ceiling. Mm -hmm. It's patched all over the place, so it's a little uh, <laughs> smooth, right. smooth, yeah. but that's but it's what not we want. Like we want it to be the same way. And I mean, it's not we right. want to use CPA funds to do the project. So mm -hmm. if CPA, the requirement is it's got to be a you know, lath and plaster ceiling, we'll make it a lath and plaster ceiling. I don't know if that's the best use of funds personally, but I mean, yeah. if that's what the requirement is, then that's what the requirement is, right? We're trying mm -hmm. to. Figure it out. Right, and, and it could very well. The thing is, the look that you're trying right. to perceive. Yeah, and we can add, well, we'll mimic all the look. The look. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's a matter of from the historical. Thanks to me. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Usually, at least in the past, the member of the historical committee 
had a particular person that would signify that this was legal under the CPA and this could be done but this couldn't be done. So it was an authorized community right. preservation person. Kind of, it came through the uh, Historical Commission. Yeah, it was, um, I remember because now that you said that, they had, in order to do the work, it had to be either done by someone who had the historical um, credentials, yes. right, to do it. Correct. So. And that's the person, I think if you look back at the studies, some of the studies that were done, the historical studies, um, for the work that on each of the buildings, um, it's in that, that person is in there, what their credentials are. And that would be the person. Well, one of the reasons we use Larry Tuttle from Architectural Insights is because he's done a lot of these. Um, right. Of but is he an improved? Yes, he got the, well, you know, I think that, those are the things that we got to look at. I understand that there is a requirement for that for specific buildings, like the Hawkins School, when you're preserving that as more of a museum. And then when we did that, that was a requirement, and we use those people. We use specific contractors. We use a specific oversight, and we were able to go through that. It was a very cumbersome process mm -hmm. when we did the Hockenham mm -hmm. School. Those are the requirements for those type. We're, this is, you know, we're using money. I mean, the, the church doesn't always use those to, mm -hmm. those type of people to do that type of design work. And I'm, I'm basing it on what, why, what our on-call consultant told us what was needed. So if you have something different, you need to get back to us because it's completely different from what well, has been told to us. I think, I know under CPA regulations, if your on-call person can cite those sections and say we are complying by this part of the project, we are doing this and it complies with this, gives us, you know, basically verse or book and page Go back and on there. Then, because we don't have the ability to check out in Boston um, right now, right? Is that what you were saying? So, yeah. so if we, if you say, you know, if we have um, under historical preservation, this these types of things per this section of the law is allowed, then we can do that because I don't have a copy of the no. regs. Well, you know, when you surprising if you go back mm -hmm. into the records of what has been funded through other towns, and there's mm -hmm. hundreds of them. Yep, but just because they did it doesn't mm -hmm. mean it's needed. Right. So, and we as a board have said, yeah. if we're going to put our name on it, we want to be accountable, we want it to be legal. So, if anybody no, disagrees with that, you're welcome to You need to say. come back and show us that that's a requirement, because um, what do mean, you, well, you're asking us for money, so we can always say no. You know, we're asking I you mean, for town. No, we're not asking you for money. You're, no. We're asking you to work with us on this project. Right, right. And it so we're asking money, for it's working town together. Money. Okay. We're trying to preserve a building. Yeah, right. yeah. and I don't want to get too heated, but no. what I'm saying is we're working together, so right. and there and has I to be give and take. We're all volunteers here. And I Nobody's getting that. paid to do this work, and either we need a path to pay somebody to do this work, or we need a, a way to somehow work together to get this project mm -hmm. done, because if we if we put these requirements on this project, I see it right now, it's gonna get stalled, and we're gonna run out of, we're not gonna have them, I know the on-call consultant doesn't have much money in that pool. Not if anymore. we put these layers on, it's gonna, it's gonna mm -hmm. slow it right down, so how do we, if that's a requirement, then we need a path to get to this. Right. And how do we do that? In order for this board to recommend to town meeting, mm -hmm. we you have to be able to say that oh, all the work done. proposed under here meets the requirements of the law and then put it before the town meeting to approve or disapprove. 
that's that's mine. Where I'm coming from. So you need a le- so you need a lawyer then to go. No, this. no, no, no. I mean, what I was saying to Tim is that we. I don't know, and I we don't have the ability to call Boston and say, hey, if they're going to do, I mean, like well, if they're going to do all these get done. <coughs> I mean, not every. I mean, what I'm sure that they? these hundreds of projects are very similar to what we're asking. Isn't doesn't go through this. Okay, but all most the towns, time. and if you're referring and to Northampton or Amherst, they have a full time staff person. Who goes and reads the law and is able to is a paid full time staff person for those boards but who goes through all I'm says, saying is okay we have hired an architect mm-hmm. to do this project we that was one of the first questions he knew specifically that we were going to go to the CPA we wanted to make sure that what we were going to propose meets the conditions of CPA. It's not like this is his first radio on something. Well, I and that was know. the very specific requirements under what we were proposing. And that's why he made the suggestions in a lot of places mm-hmm. whereby we do these type of temporary, I'll, I'll call them temporary laws because you can take them down and still have and preserve what's existing for the existing laws. So we're building within to keep those type of preserved portions of the building separate. And those are his suggestions whereby he says, now you're preserving the building. Okay, but you nowhere, in your, nowhere in your proposal do we have that documentation. That's what I'm saying. Well, you have, you've put together for us, and, and you're, sitting, and you're and saying- Like with everything, we, we're always, all of us are under time constraints. Mm-hmm. And this was a very rushed project. He put down a lot of wording in there, not just the dollar figures. But and and Tim, I'm not saying that it's a. It's but you're a, saying that we need somebody. That we're saying we've already gone through. I didn't through say that. Network. What I said was, based on what you're proposing, I want to make sure that the proposed work being done is allowed under the CPA funding. That's what I'm asking. I'm not saying, you, we, we said that in the past, there have been, the Historic Commission has used people who are, what did you say, Joe? Like certified by the state to yes. do historical restorations. I'm asking, you know, I've got, there's a, a laundry list of things here for almost, you know, 287,000, do all of these fit under CPA funding? That's what I'm asking. And in the CPA laws or regulations, it says what types of things specific. I don't have something in front of me which can do that. And like I said, or you said, you know, other towns have done these, but they also have the full-time staff people who do these day in and day out. We don't have that. And I'm working full time, everybody here is working. We don't have that kind of time to sit down and do it. So the onus is really on the applicant to come forward and say, here is a complete application so that we can say, okay, now we know how everything is covered and we can sign off relatively easily. That's that's my point, Tim. I'm not saying that this project can't be funded. I'm saying we need to dot our I's and cross our T's. I'd like to get back to something that sorry. Christian said. I'm sorry, I usually wait till last. Is that you can use CPA money to hire somebody to work on this proposal and to answer these questions. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we could do that. And that's the it first step. It just slows step. it down. That's the first step. Yeah. It, it doesn't slow it down yeah, yeah. because when you get the questions answered at the beginning, it makes the process flow smoothly. And if you rush the beginning and you don't have the answers to the questions, people say, whoa, wait a minute, what about this, what about that? And then it looks like you're not prepared. I agree, and so, and this is where working together comes in. 
who do you suggest that we contact? Like, that's the thing. How much does it cost? Where do we get a price quote? Because this is coming up right want? now. We have an What's going to make those qualifications and how much does this cost? Because I, I don't know where to start with this. You guys have, I guess, seen other projects. So how do we, do we decide tonight that this is a $50,000 consulting project and we put in for that money right now, change the proposal? Yes. And if it doesn't, if it costs 20, then we give 30 back and we're good to go. That's right. And then, I mean, we can do that. And then in six months, you'll have a, a little book and you'll have the designs and the drawings and the specifications and everything will be specific and no one will have to wonder what you're doing. And we'll know whether second floor department configuration is acceptable CPA expenditures or not. Because if you get consensus at the beginning, then you sail through the rest of the process. Yeah. Uh, now, I'm, you know, I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe we should just say yes to the money. And well, my concern. Oh, no, but I, I, I mean, I see. Don't, don't, don't. Not, I'm arguing your side, but don't fall back on that because, like, if if you guys want to stick to your guns and say, like, we want to design before we do this before we go out and do this, that makes sense to me. I mean, why don't we, you know, do some engineering work up front, get, I mean, I'm speaking for Tim, I haven't even talked to him about this, but 70,000, 50,000, I don't know what this costs because it sounds expensive, but I don't know to and get that part done. There's the rub. It, to do a lot of this upfront stuff costs a tremendous amount of money. We don't have the funds. So it's a catch 22 when we come to you. If you say you need, we'll find it, but we need this up front, we'll do that. But Tim, what Andy was saying is that you can ask us for that funding to do these designs, to get this information. And our next one is to do that, to right. ask for the $25,000 for the next phase. Right. right. But, yeah, yeah. But he's talking is for this time yeah. now. We I don't know, have but we design. all sat around the table and we knew that this was going to be a fast track yeah, project. We, tried we doing all that. talked about it. Yeah, yeah, we tried doing that. Yeah, and it looks like. Yeah. Is, well, there, is well, there more guidelines than the CPA legislation for what can be done or not? I mean, is there more? Well, there's the actual law. Which there's is the actual specific. law. <laughs> okay. And, and the thing I'm worried about is if you say yes to 287 now, we're going to be back here in six months looking for more because we didn't, because they're the requirements that you guys are asking for on the CPA thing, and then all of a sudden that sets the, us back more. So, you know, it's yes. the tricky part in the town of Hadley is we don't have a person to spearhead this type of project. Right. Mm -hmm. So even when we get $50,000 to do this project, who's going to manage the project right. and it's really tricky it's always a problem right. you know with the buildings having an OPM on those projects has really helped because that's a dedicated person running the project that has the town's best interest on hand so it sounds like we kind of need something like that for this project and it costs more yeah. but it it's does it it complies with what you're asking for right and if something comes up down the road where you, you have a better idea of what's going on, um, then maybe your price is going to be higher. It, yeah. And instead of coming back yeah. and saying, oh, that wasn't enough money, we need more money, that's not enough money, we need more money. Yeah. Because I think we've all had a little bit of that. We've seen it on every project. <laughs> so, yeah. It's just the way things you know, are. It's just the way things are. And right. I think when the library came in, they had plans yeah. for us showing what was going to be done. We would love to do that. But this was fast track yeah. because we, we, have, right. we have serious issues on running out of space. Mm -hmm. And we've, we're have we jam-packed. We're trying mm -hmm. to make what life a little easier on everybody <coughs> in that town hall. Yeah. So that's we all got together and talked about how could we do this. This one mm -hmm. question for, for, for Christian. Uh, the uh, senior centers thought they own that building. The town owns that building. There's going to be a lot of conference space available in that building. 
that could be readily used, even if it's on temporary things mm -hmm. until something is being done. I mean, this. I space, agree. Yeah, yeah. This the town owns it. The town yeah. owns this, and uh, there seems to be no objection about us using it. We're responsible for authorizing, or we're responsible for telling the town's people to. And I don't want to get my tires slashed. <laughs> if, if, for, if for some reason you get $65,345 for electrical service, if it costs 63000 the way that the law is written, whether it's good or bad, we're not discussing it. The way the law is written, the balance has to be returned to the CPA. Yeah, Are would. you prepared to do that? Yeah. That's all. Our you just can't take the money and put it someplace no. else. Oh, yeah. Our yeah. Hope. yeah. Our hope was that we could get the money so we can get the drawings and the specs and get them to you before town meeting. But and, and what we were really hoping, and not to, just to go back on the original plan, is to do some work that's already kind of been vetted. Like the electrical work has been vetted. The ceiling work has been vetted. The bathroom is part of ADA to make the building compliant with ADA. So there, we weren't pushing the envelope with this first proposal. We were doing things that we thought had already been vetted, had already kind of been gone through, and that we could upgrade the library to, to meet some immediate needs. But well, technically, and then the phase two was more looking at the broader thing, you know, actually making bigger changes. So, you know, just so you know our. Yeah. Philosophy or what we were thinking about the mission. Well, no one, no one is faulting your, your trying. We understand yes. that. We know that. But our hands are tied because we have this ridiculous law yeah. that we've got to follow, well, and well, that, we're supposed to follow. Yeah. that we're supposed to follow. And otherwise, we get a very nasty well, phone call. We understand that because when we all, when several of us were around the table talking about how to get this thing going. I mean, we all talked about using the services that we had. He has background on using the CPA money. Everybody seemed to have gone along with it for now. And we said right from the very beginning, we would not be able to get full drawings to CBA by the, to your board before you guys needed to vote on it. But we were going to do it for a town meeting, but we're so far now down the road I don't see how this is ever going to fly, because we keep on pushing more stuff on this stuff. There was an agreement to try to get this going. Right. Well, we agreed to postpone the CPA process yeah. to allow. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But now, since we postponed the process, you're saying there may not be time to get it. <laughs> Because it took so long to submit the project. So that's because we weren't going to spend the money that we had right now to get the architect on board because we're down so low on the amount of money that we have. We have so many projects. We've prioritized this as number one. So I yes, municipal building committee made the decision not to go forward with any more work until we were sure that we could get the money. Started so, and it's unfortunately because of circumstances like I said, Andy, we're further down, closer to town meeting than we expected to be. Do we have other comments? Anybody? I, you know, I certainly hear the need and think it would be a good use for the building, but I prefer to use it now as a CPA right. It's, that's a funny situation. You can use CPA funds to renovate windows. You can't use CPA funds to buy new windows. Why? I don't know. It, because it's in one the is no, replacement you, and one is restoration. Yes, actually, you can buy new windows. You but they have to be. They have to be historically <laughs> accurate. Well, right? no. For the, the most part. If the current windows are. It was like a yeah, okay. Okay. But those, those are the types of things. Um, but the other, the other thing I just wanted, if, if we do approve, I'm looking at these two columns and I see we have, we're going to approve phase one. Does that kind of tie us into doing phase two? No, definitely no. not. No. Each 
project is on its own merits. So and if as you said, if we do phase one, can you use the building? Yes. Yes. Without doing phase two. Correct. Yeah. Phase two basically, if that's to make the building more accessible, full from, compliance on all floors. From all floors. Phase one gets the first floor accessible yeah. with the bathroom. Somebody with a disability can use on the first floor. Okay. Yeah. But does that create office space? If you're only, you said the first floor is for meeting areas. Right. Yes. So the, the office space is up on the upper floor. And in the I basement. thought that wasn't usable as it is right now. Well, if the ceiling That's comes down and we do all the work, put okay. the ceiling back, it's usable. Yeah. The whole issue trying to keep people out of there is because it vibrates ceiling which is very, very loose, and every single time that happens, the more of it comes down. But the second floor is not accessible. accessible. It's, yeah. yes. but it's structurally accessible sound. Accessible bathroom right. on the first floor, mm -hmm. even though people are working in the second floor. Mm -hmm. Right, so you can't really have someone in a wheelchair working on the second yeah. floor. Right, but we can have employee just, offices up there. Yeah. At, it's not ideal. But it's not right. ideal, but it gets us through. We're trying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah sorry. Let me ask. Um, I do want to oh, just I'm, I'm throw sorry. out there that Please. that we did approve at one point the money for electrical mm -hmm. for yeah. the, right. for the, the library. Place, for the yeah. Well, I mean, it was for the building. Right. But I. That's what I mentioned earlier. I don't see right. what the difference is. Right. But and and the only reason why we said okay, give it back. And then for when we don't want to put things in the wrong spot, let's figure out what they want to use it for. Mm -hmm. But it's still, it's for that building, and we approved it at that time. Right, but we had a full set of plans that we were looking at for the approval mm -hmm. of where things would be because there were but, issues with lighting and, you know, what the lights would look like, where they would be located. There was things like that. And there's much, in order more, to, much more here than the Right. If, if this was approved tonight, would there be plans for town meeting at that, or is it, is there not that enough was time? the hope, yeah. yeah. But there may not be enough time. Yeah. So if well, there are no if there are no plans, well, what's going to happen at town meeting? I guess we'd have to table it if you guys say it's best to table it. I agree. Well, we don't have a say at town meeting. Well, we, I mean, no, but you guys together. have a recommendation. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, but our recommendation, recommendation is based on what we vote tonight. It's kind of, yeah. un it's kind of yeah. unclear yeah. as to who pulls the warrant article, right. whether it's the applicant or the committee. Yes. That's, that, that, that's right. but, but let's go through this line by line, and you can tell us what each thing is, <clears> and we'll tell you whether we think it's CPA okay or not. Architectural so services. architectural services, they're okay. Do you have an extra copy of that? I don't. There was probably one copy we put oh, on the last time. Structural, I'm sorry. Um, structural engineering is what? Is that is that that's not planning? That's actual work on the building, right? Engineering would be plan, like so plans, that's plan. calculations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So electrical engineering is oh, also electrical. We've got because the electrical got to be pretty. Excessive. Yeah. Um, the first proposal when we first came in years ago, yeah. the thirty-five thousand. That was we we assumed that there was no um, knob and two. So now we when we start exploring more and got into it, we're all the way back to changing the um, the main panel in the yeah. building because everything is non-compliant. So we need an, an engineer to write up those specs and do all that. Same with the structural. It's to write up the specs, get everything, so we can go out to bed okay, on so, the project. So these first four are, are to do the specs and the bids. Specs and plans. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, site utilities is that spec and plan also, or is that actual? That's actual work. Okay. Uh, it, that has to do with moving. Um, a water line that we're talking about for phase two, which we have to do before uh, they pave out, out for the new library. Okay. So there's some site work there. Um, we found out we actually probably have to go all the way to the pole now with the new line. That's all that. All the site is basically outside work. But this is this is work that uh, what's, what does it say in the law increases the, the functional use. 
function of use or the, the overall value of the cap capital and the value of the upper building. Right? So you yes. agree with that. And okay. also it's time sensitive if you want to do it before the Right. Um, well I can't I can't yeah. do it before town yeah. meeting. Right. I'll have to wait. Okay, same thing with the foundation, that's actual work. That's actual work. Okay. Fire escape also? Yeah, we have to for now, we have to, uh, there's a fire escape right now. Mm -hmm. If we're going to bring up more people on the second floor, the fire escape has work that needs to be done. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm, the, I'm scared to go out there. So, <laughs> the, the foundation, what is, what does that entail? That, the foundation entails uh, putting the foundation in now while the other construction's happening for phase two. Okay. Oh, it's so actually is that, that but mm -hmm. okay, so that's for that's that's for, for phase two. Right. Oh, okay, that one's mm -hmm. across. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that one should go. So does that mean your request is twenty nine seven less? No. Because you because you still want to do it. We still for phase one. Yeah. So when phase two comes, you can. It, and phase. if we don't do phase two, we're we're capping it off. It's it's there. All right. That makes sense. Yes. All right. Um, electrical service, so that's the actual work. The work, yes. Okay. Uh, basement demising? Demising. demising. That's, um, that's demolition work. Uh, some of the stuff that we have to, we have to take out the old uh, library racks, the, the carpeting and things like that to be able so to do what we need to do. Okay. So. Yeah, we'll have to think about that. Be okay because if you're going to reuse it, you gotta get the stuff out of there, right? Mm -hmm. uh, well, we'll, have, we'll, have, we'll have to right. discuss it. Well, that's yeah. Okay, the the bathroom. I'm not sure about. So that's because it's making it ADA compliant. That's a ADA yeah. compliant. Yeah. yeah, but it's also temporary. Well, it, uh, well, we'll it we'll might not be we'll temporary. Discuss, right. It might stay there. Right. We'll if we're not going to do phase two, it won't be temporary. No, it's going to stay there. Right. Uh, second floor, three department configuration. Is that furniture? The, that's the office spaces. That's bringing, uh, you doing the compartmentalization um, wall systems. So where would the money come for, from to furnish those departments? Physical. Where the chairs and tables come from? That's what she's asking. Oh, the tables and chairs is not out of this. It's not these. Okay, yeah. so okay, this is so the that's whatever we, what the like, departments have already. This is like cubicles? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's like higher. Are they going to be like doors? Because yes. if people are, I mean, a wall's going to go to the ceiling because. They're going to go up eight to... feet. They're going to have doors. They're going to have little windows at the top. They're. But if people are. are like, but, and they're removable. And they can yeah, be removable, you can change them around, so be it, whichever way you want to utilize them. Yeah, so yeah. preserving the historic nature of the building, right? Yes. They're not permanent. They are not attached to attached. the existing yeah. structure. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, and then mechanical? Uh, basically, the, I'm sure that's included some of the stuff on the second floor. Getting maybe a little bit more heat up there, I'd have to actually ask. All right. But mechanical, that's generally what it is. Okay. It's really cold up on that third floor. I'm sorry? It's cold up on that third floor yes, in winter. It is. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, well, that was very helpful, I think. Um, and then contingencies, it's just the things run over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. What did you put in the 21st contingency? All right. Any other uh, contingency? How yeah, much was it? Any other questions like or comments about this one? Yeah. People who haven't spoken yet. I have a vested interest in it getting done, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I definitely divert back to you guys with the legal end of things and how you feel about getting done. If there could be a phase, like the phases being approved, that would be great. If things could start to progress. So you think that'll be a really good space to park in that? Well, I don't think we have much other choice. I think the senior center that was voted on on the record 
and part of it would be great. <laughs> Go to Jenny's office. That's like the how, direct storage room. Yes. It's, uh, um, it's full. How I mean, long do you see? You've got architectural, structural, electrical, and mechanical. You said those are in a sense, the drawings and everything the, the that have to be what do you see that... To go out to bed, yeah. Right, but how long, and is this, so consulting, is consulting under prevailing wage now, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. Are the, is that... Mm -hmm. All that's prevailing wage. Okay, those are all prevailing wage. We have to send numbers. it all out to them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... What do you see and that's time what, frame? That's, we're not going to be able to do it before town meeting. Right, but I'm saying if if we had approved this part here, the, fave, the mm -hmm. all the planning stuff, and send that to town meeting, because you can't spend the money before town meeting anyways. Mm -hmm. So if that went out, and then you have, you'd be able to come back with detailed drawings. To kind of do six months. the rest of the work. I mean, well, but by the time, I mean, you can't go out to bid until you have the, uh, a funding source. The library has to vacate the building. Right. And you can't go out to, you can't go out to bid until you have the funding in place. Mm -hmm. So that can't happen until after town meeting. Um, town meeting. Correct. And when you go out to, are you looking at going out to bid? Before town meeting with the contingency on it? Yeah, we can't do that. Okay, so, do that. all right, so how well, long do you see the that process taking? All the way into fall, probably. Okay, so if we approved all the planning stuff and then you came back with everything, because if this is going to take into fall just to get a contract out and then these things here may change based on that, and you'd have to come back to us either for more money or not do it. Doesn't it make sense to do all of the planning and design stuff under the funding? So we would just probably push it out a little bit further than we the, wanted. But. The only thing I was going to ask you guys is what, so I, I get what you're saying, mm -hmm. and I, I do like that I direction, agree. And but when is the fall CPA application due? That could be the trick. There's where you know, we can, it's, where we it's always so hard because mm -hmm. because this process takes a while. All processes well, take. A yeah, while. and, and we get a notice right. from the board of selectmen saying the uh, warrant closes on this date. Yeah. Have all proposals done. Yeah. Usually that's some for the annual town meeting. Usually it keeps right. creeping forward. I mean, yeah. but right it, now I think we're in January. I'm, what I'm hearing you say is that you wouldn't necessarily have. Would you have the design work done by the fall, or you wouldn't necessarily have everything awarded until the Whatever fall? Whatever that we can do, we're going to try to do. Right, but but I'm trying to, because we usually put a two-year time limit on things. Yeah, we, so the if whole you, idea was to be aggressive on this and get these right. um, departments in there sometime late fall or early winter at the latest. But if you're not going to have the design services done the until... Fall, you're not going to yeah. have people in there. Well, it, the work can go. The work can go aggressively. We can phase out enough to get the people in there. Put, I mean, the ceiling work. Uh, it's it's not going to take a tremendous amount of time to get all that electrical done. It's just, the 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 ticket item is the cost of the of materials. Yeah, we're not looking at more than two months for for the entire work to be done. We right, think that we can be pretty aggressive and get the timetable that the select board is looking for and get these people in by. But if you don't, I mean, you're not going to go forward with work until you have a complete design. No, we can't go out to bid without that. But right. we, if we do that, get it out, so get, the, get it ready for early fall, get it out. Then we can we can do the work right away. We can probably get them in by by early winter, like the select board would like. That was the game plan. Okay, and I usually see that things don't go as we normally plan. So <laughs> there's always a delay here or a delay yeah. there, or I mean, somebody yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. Things can happen, but 
But I mean, we, we started off with what mm -hmm. everybody would like and work backwards. And when we all got together, we said if we can get this in front of CPA, get the funding, we, we should be, it should all be doable. Mm -hmm. And make, See, it, make it a continuous, you know, yeah. the only advantage is that the way it's laid out it can be continuous. And we don't have to stop wait, stop here stop and then go to back get, to you guys, the CPA funding go through that again. Mm -hmm. And that I'm not saying that if you approve this, we wouldn't be back, you know, I, you never know when you, Open right, up and you're that still waiting building, for you're still waiting for town meeting anyways yeah. to move forward. Right. So, and that's where I'm. My thought is, get all your design work done because for them to do the design work, they're going to have to poke holes in things and and do that. We've already. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't know. I don't for the structural that's... engineering. No. No. Absolutely no. Not okay. for what we need to do on that project. Right. I would say on some projects, of course, you would. So I guess what is the Twenty thousand dollars for architectural. Why is that so high? I'm just. Is that overseeing yes. the project? Yeah, overseeing the project. Because the it's a certain our project and doing the, putting the specs together. Okay, so that's part of the planning stuff. Yes. All right. So. Then they oversee all the way through too. It's not just they right. do the specs and stuff. Is that going to be sufficient to do yeah. oversee the project all the way through? They told us that is. They know what the project is. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I mean, typically we've done, we've had plans in front of us to know what's there and what's not. And we've had details in saying, very in detailed site utilities include A, B, C, and D. I know that. And we then, would have loved to have that in front mm -hmm. of you guys. Right. And my concern is that once this goes forward, and yes, I realize we are a recommending board, um, that who's going to be accountable for these dollar amounts? Who's going to say, because you're going to be submitting an invoice to somebody, and who's going to be signing off saying these all meet the requirements of the CPA Act, or is it just going to be approved? Well. Typically, I mean, what we'd have to do for this is have a building committee, and part of that building committee would be a finance committee, and they would, you know, if we had an OPM on this project, they would keep track of the budget, or the architect, however we manage it. Whoever's in charge should have a budget, right? and we should have line items for each one, and then but basically if we had budgets, yeah. that sub the finance committee of the building committee that does it would approve those items if there's change orders or whatever. Right, but um, who's certifying mm -hmm. that these meet the requirements of the CPA funding? The architect. Oh, oh, the charges? Yes. Oh, oh okay. I don't that's, know. That's, that's... The architect. Yeah. So Is there anything... I've never worked on a CPA project, so right. I don't know how it gets... Because typically we would... The, the way it used to be done is when people wanted funds released or reimbursement, they'd submit a request for payment and... They would do. They wouldn't just give a block thing that says we want twenty five hundred dollars for this. Give invoices. That's what we did for yeah. the yeah. I mean, there's, 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 that's all been. Right, but that has been removed from this board. This board no longer sees any invoices. And my concern is the accountability for the spending. Well, I can tell you how the pavilion worked. I mean, I. Linda required me to review it for um, NBC, right. and the, we also had um, PTO review it. We both signed off on it. Linda took it, Linda Anderson took, took it, reviewed it, and mm -hmm. um, matched everything up and, and authorized it. It went down to the town administrator, and he signed off. Right. But n nowhere in that process, and granted that was a much smaller project, yeah. nowhere in that process did anyone look at CPA regulations and say, this well, is allowed, this is allowed. We can have that as far as the architect since he's done that type of work. Because that, that, would, can, be, that would be that. my concern on that, is that yeah. the I's are dotted okay. and T's are crossed because we don't have that in front of us, which typically we do have prior I, I would feel comfortable with the architect since he, when we approached him, with this, he says he's done these. He knows the CPA stuff inside and out. 
And that's, again, that's why we did, came up with the plan that we did on a lot of the stuff, is because he's, he said, this is what you need to do to preserve the building under CPA funding. Mm -hmm. So that's what we did. Okay. But I, I mean, Let, let's uh, steer the discussion towards mm -hmm. the three questionable line items. The demising, the restroom, and the third floor. Based on the descriptions that we heard tonight, what do people think? Are they fundable? Well, is there any, there's no way to check with GPA. We have, we have to make the decision. I think the bathroom with the ADA seems like a good argument so, to be acceptable. So, Andy, are you, yes. are you going through the line item, or are you going to be yeah. offering 50000 for plans? Well, um, I want to go through the line items first and then ask them if they're willing to. Well, I guess what I did was, after we do this, I guess what I'll ask you guys is I would prefer, I don't want to speak for both committees, that we fund the electric work and the services and engineering. And then once you have the detailed plans, you come back in six months and we, we fund the rest of it. But if you feel that we can't wait, that we need to do it now, I would be willing to fund those parts of this list that the committee feels are acceptable. So I would have you think about how you'd rather do it. And I'll my personal I mean, I guess we're going to push, we're, we're here to, we, we put in our application for the full amount, right? So that that's our ideal. So if you ask us, we're going to say, we'll just take the full amount and okay. push forward, right? But we're in, in the spirit of working together and trying to figure it out and what the best path forward is to make it work. What's I think we're looking for you guys to recommend to us what you feel comfortable with. Okay. Okay. I think so that we can move it forward. Too, but the, yeah. Will you get us fundable? Yeah. And we'll go from there. Right. So if you, you know, I think if you, I would to do it, make one motion whether to just do it all, yeah. and you know, if that passes or if that feels good, Great. we go with that. And if that fails, I would just maybe ask that we do one where it's just the designs mm -hmm. or a certain portion, and we do that, mm -hmm. and we can do that instead. All right. So yeah. if I'll you want to break that. it up into I'll two different motions or I'll do, I'll do it that whatever, way. because I, was I just kind of, feel I was like kind of hoping you would say, "Oh, just go with the planning part." <laughs> <laughs> have, I would like to be easy that way. Yeah. That way, but I'm feeling so, like we got it. All right. So, <laughs> so it's getting late. So let's talk about these so three. I, I do have one areas. question though. When you you're going to be putting people in, and phase two is fenestration, and fenestration, which I wasn't quite sure what that was, um, is talking about exterior doors and windows. Mm -hmm. So that's in the if, uh, what we'll call the north tower. It's totally separate from the existing building, so people can actually still utilize the building, and we can finish the. North Tower that has the elevator and the stairs and the new bathrooms on it. Well, phase two could be problematic. It's totally separate. Let's yeah. just yeah. focus on okay. phase one. Well, no, I was just looking that it said doors and windows. Yeah. yeah it's, and why redo a building if you're going to basically have old doors and windows and, and we're making it energy efficiency for it to just go out? And sides. if you read the report from the architect, he did mention that, you know, unfortunately. The, the work does not include updating of windows mm -hmm. to meet energy codes. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's refocus. Let's mm -hmm. talk about the bathroom first. How do people feel about the bathroom? Is it CPA okay? Or I know you new people might not have an well, opinion. It's but me. Don't let not knowing mm -hmm. keep you from having an opinion. And, I don't, and it's not really temporary because yeah. it's needed. Yeah. Well, it, it, it might be better if it's temporary in terms of CPA. You never Any know. way you guys want it, you know, <laughs> yeah, we don't, we'll go along with so it. So what, what, what are we going to do? Line item, or are we going to authorize the 50000 for the architectural design? Um, to I, see if it complies. I, I think what I would like to do is to go through the line items, see how much the total request is, 
vote to see if we want to do the total request, and if not, if that doesn't pass, then we'll do what, as Chris had suggested, a second motion just for the electrical and the, the studies of the, the, the Those those four things. Uh, well, and the electrical, because we've already, that's well, a, we already know the details of that, because we already saw it and passed it. Yeah, so that would be 110, 320. But we don't that's know if how it covers the it. ceiling repair, right? We don't know if the electrical covers. Do you think right. the electrical covers? I believe covers it did, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Except there's not going to be more ceiling is going to be done by We're getting back yeah. to the question, do we know if it's go we really don't. going to be off? We don't, we don't know. We don't, we don't know. know. Uh, well, we know that the electrical work is okay. That was submitted previously, and that was okay. Mm -hmm. And then planning is usually considered okay. Use for CPA money, if it's for a CPA project. It's like you, can't, you can't plan for something. You can't use CPA money to plan for something that's not approved CPA use. And is the electrical, I'm sorry, that one, was that one getting pulled back this meeting? Or was that last meeting that it got pulled back? Uh, last town, no, but was it two town meetings ago? Yeah. yeah. I forget. The one okay. before. Yeah. yeah. So back to what I was saying. The bathroom. I, I agree. Because of the ADA. You think it's okay? The ADA part is saying, because otherwise they, there's no bathroom for someone in a wheelchair to use. And what they have is really not. Uh, function as well, well as what they have is not, yeah, but yes. Is what, it just what, bathrooms in general, or is it because it's a temporary bathroom? That's a red flag. You know, CPA, sometimes it's better if it's temporary. Sometimes it's not better if it's temporary. There doesn't be any reason, no rhyme or reason to it. Mm -hmm. You know, it depends on uh, the law, and it depends on the court. Sometimes the court says no to the law. Sometimes it says yes. Sometimes it says yes, but it's very confusing. Mm -hmm. uh, Edwin, what do you think on the bathroom? Yay, yay, or nay on the bathroom? I think it's a it's a structure that's going to stay, remain with the building. Uh, I probably have to say it's not, but that's just me. It's not CPA. Yes, correct. Dr. Z, what do you think? You know, the bathroom's okay. That was succinct. Well, what, what do you what do you think about that? Um, I mean, as temporary or, again, I don't have a plan that shows me what it is or where it's going to be. Undecided right now is what I'm going to say. You know, we're split. Wouldn't it be more efficient for Diane didn't. you people oh, just to get the design? Diane didn't. Diane didn't. Diane didn't. Diane didn't. Give them 50000 for design. <laughs> well, I think, it, I, think, I think if you feel this way, when we have the vote to fund the whole thing, you should vote no, and then we'll just give them the design money. I mean, I agree with you, but I'm trying to well, you know, then work it through. Uh, okay, that's what I think. I'm sorry, did I cut you off? No. Uh, uh, did the eight, any, any votes on the bathroom? I'm, I'm, I'm split, split. When I'm split need it, but on the bathroom. I don't know in terms of CPA candidates yeah. or regular. But there were more yeses than noes, so, right? Mm. Two. Oh. For a bathroom. Yeah. Okay, so then we'll let the bathroom go through, mm -hmm. I think. Because the majority of us thought it should go through. Yeah. Uh, what about the, um, the demising? What do people think about that? Mm. Part of making it functional, but I don't, I don't know enough about the thick rules to know if that or not. I mean, yeah. Yeah, that I don't know. I lost it. Um, we got to take the jump out. If that's what it means, we got to take the stuff out. Um, I'm assuming that the law says when you, you're gonna restore something, you're gonna end up with junk. So you gotta get rid of the junk before you can restore it. And it's not like pieces of the building, it's the rug and the stacks and the mm -hmm. stuff. It's not really it's the historic part. Right. Mm -hmm. Again, we're going back to getting a plan. Usually people have a plan, mm -hmm. of something this sophisticated, and we fund the plan before they come back with a plan, then we can adequately vote on it. Yeah. Uh, 
right? So, so we all wanted that, but we were trying to fast track this, work with you guys, come, and you're going to see the plans before we spend the money anyways. And we can talk about it then, but it's just trying to meet the deadline that, that's in front of us to be able to use the building. Okay, we'll that's work, all. We'll work it through it. Yeah. Amy, what did you think? That's a particular one. Um, Demise it. Demise it. I, I, I would think that you need to get rid of it, but I, 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 I don't know. There's a lot. It surprises me on some of the things that CPA kicks back. And even if I, and I agree, I, I know what you're saying with the plan, but even if I have a plan, the plan is going to tell me is it going to tell me yes? It's still not going to tell me yes or no whether it's going to tell me how I get rid of the stuff, but it's not going to tell me whether or not it's qualified. It will. In the plan, would tell me if it's qualified? It, it should, yes, because in the plan, when Margaret Freeman was here, she knew the name of that person, and she was very particular oh. on what was allowed and what wasn't allowed. So that was a tremendous advantage to the board. And uh, so, yes, it was specified. Oh. So what we're demising is the old bookshelves downstairs, getting rid of something that's not part of the building, getting rid of the old carpeting that was put down. Now you can't use the basement with the carpeting. It's just like the electrical. You can't use the first floor with the way the electrical is. So yeah. It's got to be replaced yeah. for, for everybody's benefit. Right, which common sense makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Whether it's appropriate. It's right. And, and I'm looking at this, and this is the <coughs> under rehab, it talks about the, with respect to historic resources, rehabilitation shall have the additional meaning of work to comply with the standards for rehabilitation stated in the United States Secretary of Interior Standards for the Treatment of Historic Properties. That's where there's that's where they are supposed to say these Types yeah, of that, works are approved or not. I'm familiar and that's, with uh, but requirements, and, and that's it's reasonable conditions, meaning that it's it, you you know if you have to restore a portion of the wall, you don't take down the entire wall to restore that portion. In order to preserve a functionality of, of a portion of the building, if you have to remove something, that that's something there, and that's. It's something you need to do to restore another facet of the building. So, um, really, when you get into mm -hmm. that Department of Interior and stuff, it's really what it gets to just do things reasonable and common sense wise. And don't go. I've never seen the historic stuff say common sense. Maybe well, very, I'm just giving very you very specific as to. Of if this you look that. at what so. that regulation is at this at the federal level, that's what it says. It's trying to tell you if you want to do one thing, don't do 101 things that aren't related to that. That's generally what mm -hmm. it really says. Right, it's just common common practice on a lot of a lot of stuff. Okay, let's get back to the line items. Okay, did you have anything in on that? Um, honestly, I'm not sure that it, I don't feel that taking, would you say, rugs out and stuff like that would be, I mean, that could be something that the town did as their part of this. Sort of interior decorating. Yeah. Anyone else? I know it's getting late. Hang in there, people. Oh. All right, so I'm hearing that the demising is you. Not CPA eligible. Well, we're not saying that. We're that, just saying we don't know. Well, <laughs> yeah, well, people, are, but not no people, are, people aren't saying, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Right. So it, then, is, it is a necessary step in order to. We just don't know. Well, it's a necessary step, but we don't have to necessarily pay for it. Um, okay, and then how about the second floor? Yeah, I'm not sure. Not knowing what that exactly entails, and yeah. does that have historic preservation? Setting up cubicles, to me. Well, I'm not sure. Either. I don't think so. so. I don't think 
Yeah. That's why I asked those questions about those three particular areas. Mm -hmm. Did anyone feel differently? Like we should definitely do it? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, then I would suggest that we fund the original request minus those two items, the 18.6 and the 43.250. Somebody had a copy in. <laughs> one, one of you iPhone people. So it's two eight seven nine nine three. Minus minus two two six oh ninety three. Okay. And you can check my math if you want later. <laughs> okay. But that's approximate. No, we believe. I believe. Plus, it's so late. Yeah. Okay. So let's do it like I said we would do it. Do I hear a motion to fund this particular project at $226,093? So moved. <laughs> and then we need a second. Okay. Any further discussion? So, all in favor? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. And opposed? Five to three, so it passes. And we're going to fund it for $293. Yep. And who's getting the money? 226093 Who was in charge of the project? Who's getting the money? I think that's a good idea. Is it the good, building committee? Good question. Is it the building committee? I don't know. It's probably going to be the select board, I would think. That's the one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's under the select board yeah. for review. And then so two, years. And two years. Two years. Right. Someone should be certified. Yeah. Um, do you want. Do you want. Oh, it's too late. You already voted. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> then never mind. Yeah. Uh, uh, I was going to talk about money to hire a specialist. Do all the things we talked about, but that's too long. Um, I, I would recommend that if you are seriously considering the phase two, that you go out and you get all of these designs and everything done and with detailed plans. Prior that's to the it, next thing that's because, on your agenda is to do that because this is almost a million dollars you're asking yes. for, oh, yeah. and that's that's not going to go. I mean. Oh, we understand <laughs> that. We just wanted to show you, and we we're not bringing that forward. What we're bringing forward is is the twenty five thousand dollars to do that design and get you something. This time we really need it. That's the next one. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, twenty five thousand dollars. Which is that? fund are you the taking elevators? it out of? Um, good question. Should be historical, shouldn't it? Yeah. I guess it should be. If there's money enough there yeah. after the two hundred and twenty six thousand. Elevator, there's nothing in there for phase one. Uh no, it's a separate proposal. There's the one that Alan Weinberg brought forward. Uh what he called the lift project. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's phase so two. We can do the uh, get you some general. General. To get you better hard money um, uh, estimates and some design work done on that. So you exactly what, what you're ask, asking for yeah. for this, but I'm in phase two. Oh, we just more detail. I'm sorry, this is my own thing. <laughs> so, yeah, we have time to do it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, I'm looking for. Which 
one you're looking yeah. at? I'm looking at the agenda. There were two. It's one page for $25,000. Yeah. Yeah, it's called a lift, lift design? Yeah, yeah, it's called a lift. The design part of phase phase two. No, I'm afraid I don't have it either. No. This is all. Yeah, I don't have. I got an email from Alan. So the twenty-five thousand dollars that Alan uh, Weiber was proposing was to to, to do some uh, preliminary design work to show you. Uh, a drawing of what the proposed, we'll call the North Tower is, give you some idea. I mean, it's pretty simple on a floor plan. It's going to have uh, two bathrooms, an elevator, and a set of stairs. And that's going to be on this, we'll call the North Tower on the, so we wanted to get some money, which we don't have anymore on the Municipal Building Committee, to get you harder numbers for the estimate, get you a drawing, uh, you know, floor plan, an easy floor plan, which would be simple, and then a 3D um, sketch of what the whole thing would look like with this tower on it. And that was an estimate of $25,000. So we knew we had to have, would have enough time to do that upfront work, which you guys would like to see, and we'll get that done. Is there a, per, uh, a company or a a firm in mind that you're... Yeah, it's the on-call consultant that we have is um, Arch Architectural Insights that, that the town has um, brought on board to do all this type of work. Yeah. Yeah. It was in the uh, email from David Nixon. It's got a drawing actually attached to it from the old, like the DRA <laughs> report. Somebody, is anybody in an email right now? I could forward it to them. Or I can't connect. You want to send it to Amy? I can send it to Amy. Oh, if you send it to me, you got to send it to Gmail, though. Oh, not, no, not ESB. My, not ESB. Yeah, we'll do <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> All right, well, Can't get David Nixon's emails because they go to ESB. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. It's you can just take it. Take it in. Yeah. Okay. We've been doing this for a long time. Or just start do we want to keep going? I, I or do we want to have a board? <laughs> that works because that it's just Amy okay. Maps one, right? Why? Indeed. Do we only have maps left? Well, well, there's maps and candies. And the brackets. We're not going to do Small amounts of uh, mold we approve. Just maybe five. Okay, we'll keep going. FYD. FYD, that's it. We're not going to do the. the yeah. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Thanks. 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 Chance to look at it. If we don't have a chance to look at it, we can't approve. Right. 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 I, so, I agree. And it would make sense to, not that I want to have another meeting, but to do another meeting in order to have time to look at it. Yeah. Okay. That's. Do people agree? Yes. We need something to look at <laughs> before we. We're not going to give you a blank check. <laughs> yeah. When to no. you, Andy, on February 11th? Yeah. That yes. one. Uh, maybe I sent it out. I thought I did. I'm doing the best I can. Yeah. Um, 
Okay, what about this idea about having uh, adjourning this meeting and having another one to finish up? Or should we press on through? Does it really make a difference timing-wise if that was 25,000 was approved now versus in the fall? That would be able to get us started on it. Yeah, we'd certainly like to get a jump on it yeah. and have something ready for town meeting. Because then that just would delay. Yeah, it. it's the same it's thing like that. here. We just yeah. crunch everything into no time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, All right let's, tem let's temporarily postpone this one and see if somebody can find it on the internet. I forwarded it to yeah. Amy, and I'm then send you it. want me to send if it I, to you again? It's pretty, it's pretty simple. simple. Okay. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's very simple. $25,000 to do. Right, but we haven't seen it. We haven't seen it. Yeah, yeah. okay. Do you want to? You can't put it right on your computer. I don't have internet access here because I don't know the password. Oh, I wonder if, I can, I can let me see if I can that. airdrop it to you or something <laughs> like that, somehow. All right, well, while we're working on the technical details, uh, let's go to, um, is, is this one not, uh, windows, the brackets? No, this is, uh, uh, no, well, Chris, I, I meant to call him, oh, I didn't do it, he didn't come last meeting, he didn't come this meeting, so yeah. we're just gonna as far as I'm concerned, that's, that's that. Done, so no that's good. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I did meet with him, I talked to him about it, but, yep. you know, you can only do so much. Right, I agree. I agree. Uh, that's, that's the only thing okay. that I have. Uh, Let me find so David Moskins. Yeah. Right here. Will we prove the window and the brackets? <laughs> wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm trying to do technical difficulties here. All right. All right, wait a minute. Okay, so, um, All right, so uh, wait a minute. David Moskin was able to save some uh, his, uh, um, hello, architectural details from the Hunter School. Um, which are really nice objects. And he wanted some money to uh, preserve and restore them and to display them uh, as, you know, art pieces in, in the new library. Um, originally it was just going to be the window, but then he showed me pictures of the brackets, and they're so beautiful that we got to show them as art, I think. Display them as art. Um, uh, so originally he said he wanted to sandblast the brackets, but I think I talked him out of it. You know, you just clean them and you just show them with all the patina and the age. Um, and it's a very small amount. So. Especially if you take the sand blaster now. Yeah, right. So, um, and, uh, you know, the in, the in-kind donations are, he's taking it to the, to the conservator, restoring the, he's doing all that. He's not charging anything for that. So, uh, oh, here's a picture of one of the brackets. There's two of them. If you put them side by side, they make this nice heart shape. Mm -hmm. uh, I want them for my own personal use, but they're for my property. Um, that's it. Helen, how are you doing? Hmm? How are you doing? I'm getting to my Gmail right now. Okay. So how much was, was that? It was uh, 750 for the brackets. And uh, how much for the Seventeen fifty for the window. Seventeen fifty for the window and seven hundred and fifty for the bracket. Oh and he missed it because he brought the window. He actually brought the window. Oh. Which was really seven fifty for the brackets. Seven fifty for brackets brackets and seventeen fifty for the window. Here's yeah. the window. Yeah. 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 So did you say you're taking the no. Or something with the no. Uh, no. 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 He still wants money to preserve them, clean them, and to melt them. Well, he just, yeah, he but just, he just wants sandblasting. So then, so that, does that mean that seven hundred fifty is really five hundred dollars because sandblasting is going to cost two hundred fifty? Right. Um. Uh, sure. You know, is that? Uh, sure. That's fine. Um, I'm also going to suggest that for brevity and town meeting, we make these as one, do them as one proposal, so they don't have to be two votes. Yeah. So there's seven, two proposals, 750 for the brackets, 17 no. uh, would be 500 for the brackets. Right. Correct. And 1750 for the windows. Right. Okay. 
So this is that, I just want to make sure I've got that as yeah. two proposals. Yeah. Yeah, if he's not going to sandblast the uh, brackets, he's not going to paint them, so it should really even be that much. Well, let's leave Kimmler turning Yeah, but just keep it there just in case. Yeah. 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 This is one project we don't want to come back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We don't have enough money. And we need two votes. So, yeah. uh, so when do we combine them? We, we can do it now. Okay. We, we can do anything we want. Is there an, an, an objection to combining them? Okay, so, okay, so we should, more. technically, we should just vote to combine them and then do a vote to approve. Uh, okay. I'm not sure we have to vote, but I'm fine with it. Yeah. Nice. Okay, any discussion on the projects? No? Okay. Do I hear a motion to combine the two? Uh, oh, I just did it. I'll make a motion. I can do it. Mm -hmm. To combine the two projects. Is there a second? Second. Okay, all in favor of combining? Aye. 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 Any opposed? And now we'll have a vote on the newly combined CPA project. You're giving the money to David Moskin? He was never seen again. <laughs> <laughs> he bought a new convertible. Uh, read me out a convertible. Too. Yeah, another one? <laughs> he's a motor guy. No. And he's got two years to spend it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It says it's good with Memorial Library Board of Trustees. Oh, is it? Okay, let's give the money to the Board of Trustees. Yeah, it's Sorry, yeah, the yeah. applicant, yes. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. No, no, no. Anybody, nobody made a motion or second. Oh, I'm that. sorry. Do we have a motion on the first? No. Vote to. Um, Very good. That goes my career's no. town meeting month. All right, so. Yeah, a motion on the combined. Two years to spend. Yeah. We already did that, but okay, we're right. all done with that one. All right. Mm -hmm. all right. So we need a, the vote to approve the projects, money to the Board of Trustees, two years to spend out of historical and then the general fund. For 2250. For 2250. So moved. Okay. So second? Yeah. Second. Okay. All right, now? Yes. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? I'm going to abstain on this one. You're going to abstain? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And so yes. seven. Don't feel right doing that. Okay. Zero. One. Why don't you feel right? I'm just asking. Um, because it tore down the whole building, you're gonna save up just one stinking window. And, and two brackets. And two brackets. That doesn't make sense to me. But okay. you know. Fine. And it probably is not allowed on the CPA because they try something like that. People with like mm -hmm. seven or whatever. Whatever. Okay. Very good. Um First, and I got it, but then I got it. I was trying to forward it, and it couldn't, they wouldn't let me give it, forward it to everybody. Oh, really? So it's stuck. I don't know. It's, oh, okay. it's probably not that it's me. <laughs> <laughs> and I tried to attach it, but it just didn't. Okay, all my CPA stuff here. So, did you send? When did I send? I think it's February 11th. February 11th. That was originally uh, sent. Yeah. Yeah. So, maybe the 12th right here. After I forgot this one. Okay, so that would be this. So this goes. Oh, I see. Down. Okay. Yeah. I'll see what's happening there. No, it'd be like. Oh, no, that's it. Like dozens of attachments. That's the school. Yeah, there's like six that's attachments. Yeah. That's it's the in there. Goodwin Preservation and Goodwin Left. Yeah. So that's the one. Can you see it? All right. All right. I'm going to get a drink of water. You know, I was just thinking when you do like. They're trying to not have to come back. <laughs> so, that's the lift. Is it? 
Sounds like we need to have some CPA criteria in there too. So yes. we're gonna yes. should use this money for yep. that as well. So and then we get into all the specifications and everything that's needed to do the work. Yeah. And what, with with the caveat, general generally planning is allowed. Generally. Elevator construction. We might find out, mm -hmm. oh, we can't do that. That's why so. we want to get you something so now you got something to look at and say, yeah, yeah, yeah. or no. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, we do fight. We understand we do that. Fight for that, but we, we understand where you guys are coming from. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Twenty-five thousand. Almost done. Just saying that. <laughs> Any other okay. discussions um, or comments? Coming, on this? Minute, coming out of where? Well, we're, we're still discussing it. Okay. Any other discussions? Wouldn't that be historic? Oh, it might be road five. Oh, mm -hmm. 
but they're an advisory committee to the select board. It, it, so. It's okay. It's all right. I just want to know who gets it. Yeah. Who, who I contact if two years comes up and they haven't spent it yet. Yeah, yeah exactly. What are the chances of that? <laughs> <laughs> Never happened. Well, she's going to read it to us okay. first. Um, to twenty-five thousand dollars design money um, for twenty-five thousand dollars for a lift design um, coming out of historic to the municipal building committee, used within two years or reverts back to CPA mm -hmm. for the Goodwin Memorial. Discussion being there, no further discussion. Let's have a vote. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Is that unanimous? Pretty much. Yeah. Yes. No, no votes is unanimous. Thank you. Thank you guys well, thank you. Thank for bearing with yeah. us. Yeah. You get you. to go home. We Bye. start Bye. to stay here. Yeah. Unless you want to stay. <laughs> All right. John, so we won't bring any more discussion. <laughs> okay. Yes. What else? All right. Maps. So there's the maps. Um, okay, so there are these two great historic maps from the 1740s uh, in the drawer in Tim's office. Uh, and I sent them to, um, uh, I dropped them off at the Williamstown Art Conservation Center uh, for a preservation plan. And they basically said, put them back in the drawer. Um, for what they, and if, and if put them back in the drawer, they're going to charge us 4300 well, no, 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 that we're going to do at our own expense. The 4200 is for um, cleaning, um, for undoing previous preservation attempts, which are no longer best practices, mm -hmm. um, and for putting them back in um, uh, plastic. plastic. Um, that's supposed to be better than the plastic they were in. Um, but you can't use the plastic they were in because they cut them out to, uh, to look at them. Yes, thank you. <clears throat> okay, and this is 4200 yeah. yeah. So if later we found a space and it's uh, like a table with glass top, and could we put those maps in that glass top, even though it's in the plastic? Could you see through the plastic, or is this plastic that's all dark colors that you can't see? No, no, it's clear mylar plastic. Um, but sunlight is very detrimental to the maps, and the less you show them, the better. But I still think, getting, even though it's not CPA, getting a good quality photograph of them when they're open. Yeah. You know, so that could be put on the website, or it would be put in the library. Of, of it. Mm -hmm. Replicas are not CPA. But it, it still could be done, just not with CPA. Yes, sir. Right. Um, so it didn't exactly turn out the way I thought it was going to. Um, but at least now we know that the maps are in the best state of preservation that we can find for them. Rather than putting them back in the safe. Right. But there they were rolled up and they were supposed to keep them flat. Mm. So yeah. even that wasn't the greatest. No, they needed more. Yeah. <laughs> so do but, we have a drawer to put them in? Uh, well, uh, you know, uh, I would say that it's not our job to decide what to do with them. Well, you know, we can we can make yeah. a recommendation. I mean, there's going to be a happy history room in the new library that might be a good place to keep them, but it's not really up to us. Right. And the plastic you said that's in it is. Um, it's a plastic that is like historic grade that will yeah. 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 UV prote a protect it from UV. Uh, I'm not yeah. sure it's UV protected. No, I don't. I don't believe it is, because since we're not planning right. to display it, mm -hmm. um, but it's probably not a good idea. Yeah. 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 Um, let's see. Okay. This is the. This is this. This. This was the second proposal because the first proposal was to display it. And yeah. It was going to be this whole engineering thing, and the conservative said, you know what, don't do it. 
Thank you for doing that, yes. And they were really nice. They showed us all around and all that kind of stuff. Like there's staining on it, but they decided the staining was original, so they're not taking it out. That saved us a couple hundred dollars. So that's it. You want to hear a motion? Okay. First of all, who's the money going oh. to? Um. Let's see. I guess the what? Historic committee. Store. Well, they did. They did vote to support it, but I don't know if you want. Door. Do you, you want responsibility? Just to because for the for the payment part. Um, sure. Okay. Money to the store. Yeah. Pres preservation work on two seventeen forty maps of Allen. It's kind of hard. To, it's kind of hard to tell what sections of town they are. Okay. Um, well, it's a lot bigger. What's, what's the year? Of it? Sure uh, they're not sure. 1740s. Yeah. Yeah. Ink on parchment. You know, I thought that they were going to trans. Well, not translate, but you know, transcribe the writing for us. They said, oh, no, we can't read that. <laughs> <laughs> really? Uh, yeah, it's really hard to read. <clears throat> Plus, they use F instead of S. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, so stay on task. <laughs> okay, uh, you want to so read it to us? $4,200 for cleaning um, and preservation, money to the historic committee, committee or commission? Commission. commission. Commission, um, so money to the Historic Commission for preservation work on two 1740 maps of Hadley um, to be done, used within two years or return. Do you want to say owned by the town of Hadley? So oh, yeah, I mean, I'll. I'll yeah. People don't think it's owned by Yeah, this is. Mm -hmm. If you read my notes, it's rough, okay? <laughs> Lots of the extended times, just like discussion ensued, and all present participated. It's okay. <laughs> we are not criticizing you for taking it anyway. No. no. Okay. Although, if you'd like to share the responsibility, Mary said she'd uh, <laughs> share it or not take the responsibility mm -hmm. with you. Okay. I told her I didn't think uh, you'd be She does a great to job, though. <laughs> <laughs> she sure does. She sure has for a long time. All right. Did we yes. have a motion? Sure. Nobody made the motion. I um, read it. And I'm, uh, so moved. Thank you. Second. So. All right. Being there, no further discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? No. Okay. One more thing we have to do is we have to vote to fund the set of, fund the set asides. I thought we did that last time. No, I think we did we. Yeah. Okay. Well. I think the last meeting? No, no, we, I think we voted to... Um, to for the to extensions. The extension. oh. Right, okay. All right. I, Ooh, I was right. Okay. Okay, so what are the historic? Okay. Is how much? Uh, it's for what, all three are 43,380. Right, but I'm, we need, don't we need to... It's historic. Okay. Uh, 43,380. Yeah. It so just says each. Each, yes. Yeah. Okay. Times three. Okay. Yeah. That's okay. So historic. And then uh, we open have space. housing and open space. Open space. Yeah. 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 Okay. Do I hear a motion to fund the so move? Okay. Aye. Second. All in favor? <laughs> Aye. Aye. Okay. That's unanimous. And I think we'll put this in the um uh the consent portion. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the uh, extensions also, I think, we're putting in. Okay, one more critical motion. To adjourn. To adjourn. Any, any, any opposed? No. I, I actually have one quick, quick oh, question. Oh, yes. So I know Andy wanted to be the at-large and wanted to try to...
figure this out. I mean, how many people right now are on the CTA committee? Okay, I think there's nine. There is nine. Three at large. So, because I was reading through who have to be on here, and they came up with five. Five. And then three at large is eight. That's eight. But I didn't know mm -hmm. if you I'm had. I'm wrong. But we had it, so. But you might have another. That's his. Oh, that's yours. Oh. I think they try to keep it odd, an odd number. You got to keep it an odd number. You can't. Right. So you I didn't know if it pulled for more than the ones that it said. It well, had. let's see if we can go through it. There's um, planning board, planning board, historical oh, okay. society, historical society, park and rec, Con oh, Con um, planning board. Oh, I don't know. Did I? Yeah, <laughs> it's late. Finance committee. Oh, finance. I don't think was planning finance. Didn't we just do this? Are we on here? Is somebody right. count? To keep it track. Okay, here is. <laughs> you know who's, who we. One member of Conservation Commission. Yeah. One member of Historic Commission. Yeah. One member of Planning Board. One yeah. member of Park and Rec. And one member of Housing Authority. So if the if we if the town added finance, then that's that would be six, and then three at large. Two right. Okay. okay. Woohoo! Right so twice in a row. Housing okay. Okay. It was Willie. Uh, it was Willie Denley. It is uh, Jack or Rich Whitkus. Yeah. No. Who I have. Oh, heard. a good simple name to spell. Yeah. It's Polish. But I have not heard from him. Anyway. <laughs> no. Okay. Motion to adjourn. So we already have that. Did we? Yeah. Motion second. I need okay. a vote. It's unanimous. Oh, yes. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Hercules service. Yeah. Thank you.